Hello fellow survivors and welcome to the 1000 day interloper VOD stream. So this is a stream that happened on March 30th, 2022 and I've got a lot of requests to upload this uh, VOD in its entirety. So here we are. It is largely unedited except I cut the opening part which is the loading screen and at the end of the video I show a preview of the 1000 day highlight video which has subsequently been released and that you can now find on my channel. Other than that it is pretty much unedited and uncut. It shows me crossing from day 995 into day 1000 showing off also the different bases I have around the world but I didn't have time to go through every single region and then it's walking about uh, also killing some wolves and answering some questions. And that's about it. I hope you enjoy the tour of Great Bear Island and my journey into day 1000. Thank you so much and hope you enjoy the video. Right, let's uh, get this show on the road, shall we? Hello everyone, by the way. Thank you, uh, Wizard, for the kind words, as well as uh, Taparo and everyone else there. So nice to see everyone. And hi, Sam, how are you doing? Let's jump into the main thing. There we are. Uh, let me move the day counter thing a bit down, uh, like this or something like that. Just so in case people jump in and they don't really know if I've done it yet. I thought we'd have a little counter. Yeah, I think this looks all right. <coughs> there we are. <laughs> Good day, everyone, yeah. <laughs> I haven't actually seen ASDF movie, but I know what it is. Okay. Hot, uh, hot fix soon. I heard. <laughs> Oh yeah, I changed the subscriber thing. Uh, just some crows flying about for now. I might upgrade later. But uh, Country Roads with a K. Thank you for the subscription. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. And Alma K98. Thank you so much for the Prime subscription. <laughs> How kind of you. Thank you so much for that. And welcome to the Zacademy. And enjoy those uh, emotes. I think the Mist Loot one is the most useful. So here we are, we are on day <laughs> 995. What? Hey, we got a boost train. A boost train? Is that something different than a hype train? I never heard of that before. Oh no, it is a hype train. Okay, well, I don't know. Hey, uh, Shadow Client, nice to see you. Uh, Ruach Golf, uh, thank you for the the Prime, sorry, yeah, the Prime subscription as well. And some of the 300 bits, thank you so much. Actually, let me give a shout out to uh, Ruach because he streams as well. And it's very good. <coughs> <laughs> and Cool K, wow, we're going crazy at the moment with the uh, subscribers. <laughs> so we got, we got a hype train already, and we're only a few minutes in. That's awesome. Boost recommends the stream to new viewers across the stream. Oh, I see. I did not know. See, Rook knows all this stuff. This is not a no. Oh, okay. I did not know that was a thing. Oh, thank you for that. I thought you would know that sort of stuff. So yeah, we are on day nine, 995. We can go through the rest of the stats uh, another time. Technically, it's not 100% explored though because I have not been to Blackrock. Uh, I have deliberately not set foot in Blackrock on this run just because there are too many bugs at the moment and people might die and that sort of thing and I didn't want to go there and just die. So at the moment, we are in Hashira Valley. And what I thought we'd do today, we have a little uh, celebration set up in Desolation Point. I have a little thing there that we can do. Um, and I thought we would just go through uh, the bases I have. I have bases in every region. I, I don't know if we'll go to every region like Timberwolf and Ash Canyon is a bit out of the way. But we can go through Mountain Town, Broken Railroad and stuff like that. And I don't think we'll go to Bleak Inlet. We won't go to Black Rock. We Probably won't go to Ash Canyon unless I want to check for the moose. It depends on the time. We'll, we'll see how we get on. But before we just kind of go from base to base and 
while we're at it, we can see if there's any moose. There won't be moose in Broken Railroad or Mountain Town though, because I killed them not long ago. But the other places could have moose, so we can always check for that. There's a few places that have moose markings, but have never had moose, like Pleasant Valley, for example. So we're just going to do that, I thought. <laughs> hey, Long Dark Forever, nice to see you. Um, my mods aren't here, so I will just shout you out myself. If anyone wants to be a mod, by the way, let me know. Uh, as long as I can, like, I know who you are and I can trust you, you can be a mod. Because I have three mods, but they're not all here all the time. Uh, so I usually do it myself. But I don't stream very often, it's like once a month. <clears throat> yeah, no, I don't think we're going to break in. Let's have a look. The hotfix should come out next week. That's what Rafe said. Okay, so here we are in uh, Hush River Valley. This is the Hush River Valley base. Uh, I killed a bear not very long ago. So there's quite a lot of bear meat and things about. And we have our hello sign, which was upgraded from when I was last here. Uh, it just says hi now and got this little heart thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then, let's see. So in here we have a bunch of stuff. And these are just stones and charcoal. We don't really need that, except that there's a few places I haven't mapped here. So you can see there's a little dark patch down here. Because one of my goals is to have a perfect map of every region. And some regions are pretty good, some are not so good. This one's missing a lot of dark patches. Uh, while well, Coastal Highway is pretty much complete, uh, so is most other areas. But some have some dark patches here and there that needs to be filled in. And with uh, uh, Hush River Valley, it's only really this area down here. And the only way to do it, as I figured out, is to kind of billy goat up the sides and do it. Um, so I'll have to do that at some point. Yeah. Okay. In the base itself here we have, this is a pretty decent base, unless you have a ton of meat and people smell the, uh, like the wolf smell you, you won't be attacked. And we have a bunch of uh, hides, I uh, got some backup torches here, a uh, bunch of these, these are very important. I never go and check for the moose without carrying four of these with me because the moose on this run is down in the moose valley. So if I go down and get stumped it's a bit bad. Hey, Chef Maria. Yeah, hype. <laughs> Hello, Ekrim. How many matches? Uh, I have about 100. Uh, we'll do an inventory of that. So I have on me, I have 30 batches plus a fire striker and a magnifying lens. But I have um, between 4 and 12 in every base and a few more in the main base. And we have a bunch of guts and things and a load of wood and a load of coal and a load of water. So this is... This is where I just hang out when I'm here. And actually, I'm going to take these things with me uh, back to base. Uh, not sure about the cooking pots. How heavy am I? I'm quite heavy. Uh, we probably... I don't know if we can take that back, actually. I think we'll leave this here. I'll take this back another time. But I am going to take this with me, because I like having the bear hides back in my main base. The rest can probably just stay here. We'll see how we get on. Oh, yeah, thank you for the hype train or boost train. That was uh, that was fun. I never seen that before. <laughs> that was cool. You're boosting this train. Eight hundred recommendations. Oh, so that's how it works. Oh, that's cool. I know. Never, never understood. I never seen that before. That's cool. Thank you for the uh, final bits. Cool, uh, cool. K. Felix. Love your YouTube. First time watching, so thank you. Thank you very much, and thank you for the follow, Nasty Santa. Sorry if I missed anything in chat, because there's a lot of stuff going on. Okay, so in uh, Hush River Valley, we're not going to do anything. There isn't much to see. It's just this particular cave here. That's my main base in this one. The main base in this uh, run is in Mystery Lake. I almost always have Mystery Lake as my main base, because it connects to everything. Every region in the game is at most uh, two regions away. Because if you want to go to, say, Hush River, it's like one, two. If you want to go to uh, Desolation Point, it's one, two, plus the connector sounds. The of Mountain, one, two. It's only Ash Canyon and Black Rock. Well, not actually Black Rock, but Ash Canyon is the only one that's further away. So Mystery Lake connects the best. So I think that's the best place to have a base. Mystery Lake, Alternative Pleasant Valley, Coastal Highway is probably the three best places. So we're going to go, I think, to Mountain Town, and then Broken Railroad, and then to the main base in Mystery Lake, and then from there we'll see if we go up to 
the other bases in this northern area or we go straight to the isolation point. And we have a celebration set up for day 1000, but it, we might not do the celebration on day 1000 because I want to do it at night when it's a clear night and that might not happen, so we might have to do it on day 1001 or whatever. But we'll see. For now though, I think we can safely get out of here. I'm going to take this with me. And we're going to head out of Hush River Valley. And let me just check here. We have a broken arrow we can uh, get rid of first. It's late in the day, so getting into darkness, but we're quite warm because, as you can see, it's actually warm up while I'm talking. Uh, I have plus 28 degrees warmth because I have so many clothing and they're all quite high condition, most of it. So it's giving me quite a lot of warmth. So I'm not particularly cold walking about on <laughs> day 1000 in Tlop. <laughs> Uh, oh, this we can just harvest actually. It will reduce some um, weight. Yeah. Okay, let me catch up on some chat that I missed here. Uh, nice to see you too, uh, Atom Jack. And uh, first time viewers there, Brown Coat. Thank you. Uh, Spy me stuff my own interloper. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, a lot of people are trying interloper because of my videos. That's nice to see. Hey buddy, so you post the stream on Facebook, Chris. Oh, nice to see you, Santa. PV Farm is best. Yeah, a lot of people like PV Farm. Let's uh, get out of here towards Mountain Town. How many hours is 1,000 days? Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cindy, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Elder Donkey, hi, hi nice to see you. And uh, Jam the Boss. Oh, this boss. Thank you again for the subscription for the three month. Can't wait, neither can I. Okay, it's getting dark and we're quite a lot of energy, so I'm just gonna start running. Uh, as you'll notice in this run, even though I'm doing 1000, there's a lot of stuff around still. Like, there's a lot of cattails, for example, and there's also a lot of uh, this, like, uh, old man's lichen. There'll be a lot of uh, uh, rose hips and mushrooms around too. Especially mushrooms, there's a lot of mushrooms around. And that's because I don't really use them for anything. And I don't really need to harvest them for the sake of harvesting them. So I leave them. So every now and then something happens, I get stomped or something. So every now and then I do go out and I pick up some rose hips and I make some rose hip teas or something like that. But for the most part, I just leave these things because I don't really need them. And they are, at worst, they are backup food. So if I ever were to run out of food for whatever reason, I don't know why that would happen, but let's say it did, I can go and grab the cattails. There's a bunch of cattails around that I have not picked up. And there's a bunch of uh, rose hip and mushrooms. Yeah, these rose hips have been taken, but mushrooms, there's a lot of those around. Yeah, and I've looted the entire world about three times, but there's always something I miss every time I decide to check every region again. There's always something new that pops up. Yeah. So yeah, let's head out of here. Um, do cattails respawn? No, no, they don't. <laughs> they don't respawn. Uh, they like certainly no moose, one bear fight. Yeah, moose is very rare, so. Uh, but does difficult level affect natural resource respawns like mushrooms? No, it doesn't because they don't respawn at all. The only things that respawn are renewable things like sticks, branches, limbs, uh, coal respawns, and animals. And I think that's it. Uh, yeah, that's it. So all everything you can eat or harvest um, does not respawn. So difficulty doesn't make a difference. The difficulty can affect how much of it you find, but that's about it. Uh, well, uh, it's a bit hard to catch up with all the chat because there's so much of it. <laughs> I'm not used to saying this many. What happens when the matches in the world run out in the interloper? Does it automatically reoccur? No, if the matches run out, you have to use the maglens only. You can only use this maglens, and that's it. That's the only option you have. Uh, let's see. Let me see if there's anything else I missed here. Okay, thank you, Wizard. See you later. Uh, 
Birch, uh, Birch, yes, sorry, I forgot. Birch bark also uh, respawns. So theoretically, you can survive forever without weapons. So you'll you'll probably never die in this game, uh, unless the magnet breaks. It is possible to survive infinitely, but uh, I'm not sure if anyone wants to, wants to do that. <laughs> but you can in theory. But birch birch bark as well. Yeah, I forgot about that. Thank you. Hey, Shiggity, how are you doing? Imagine how much uh, more scary the game would be if coal didn't respawn. Yeah, if coal didn't respawn, it would be harder because coal is very handy, especially when it gets uh, cold, like you're stuck in a blizzard or something. But if it didn't respawn, it wouldn't change it in a major way. You can still just loot sticks and stuff, and you just start fires that way. But it'd be much harder because if you get caught in a blizzard, and Coal's let's say it's minus 25, you, you need to put 25 sticks in order to stay warm but it, or, but if you have two pieces of coal you can just put that down instead so it's much better to use coal so here's some mushrooms that have not been harvested ooh mushrooms there's a lot of that around we don't really need it yeah exactly when it's done uh, how do you save so many matches you just never use them you just uh use the matches when you have to use them other than that you just use the maglens just use the maglens whenever you can so when i uh for example if i kill something if i kill a bear or a moose then i will usually wait to harvest uh, or at least wait to cook it until there is a sunny day if it's somewhere in the open and not near a shelter no, well, let's just do it for a reverse so if it is near a shelter i might quarter it and take it into the shelter harvest the meat and everything and then drop it on the ground and then i'll cook it once it gets sunny so i'll just wait until the sun comes out and then i'll start the fire if however that's not possible or it's too risky you might lose it whatever or if you're in a dire situation then i use a match so in the beginning of course i use matches all the time nowadays i use a, a match every 30 days 50 days I, I don't know it's very rare that i use matches now yeah I was in Carcass, insanely hard about coal. Yeah, it can be tough, yeah. Hey, Klima, thank you. <laughs> First chat viewer, how are you doing? Uh, Simon Olsen, let's go to 1,000 days. You're truly TLD master. How are you going to celebrate? Oh, I have something lined up, Simon. I have a video I'm going to show and a little thing is lined up in uh, in Desolation Point. I'll uh, show you. Uh, why are there no crossbow? It's a shooter weapon, but we could... Uh, yeah, some people have suggested a crossbow. It's It can work. But it's not really necessary, in my opinion, because you have the bow. Well, you could have it, yeah. Hey, uh, Miro Shiros. Nice to see you and welcome in. So let's head to Milton then, shall we? And we'll have a rest there. I don't think there's any coal in there because I already looted this coal. I always carry a storm lantern with me because it's the preferred way of lighting an area. And you don't have there's another way to save matches, you don't use any matches at all. And uh, this renewable, you just fish, you know. Technically speaking, you could run out of it, but it's very unlikely. Okay, here we are. What's that on the ground there? Is that some food that I left behind? Let's have a look. Looks like it's a wolf steak. No, I don't really need it, so I can just stay here. Uh, hey, Packer Backer. Greymother had a bad experience with Crossbow once, so she never drew the blueprints for one. <laughs> can the magnifying glass break? What do you do then or not? No, it doesn't break, uh, Ola Magnus. Uh, well, in theory, it can break. It, bre uh, it, it does deteriorate, but it's so slow, you don't really notice it um but it but yeah it can lose in like in a struggle like cindy says and stuff like that but it, it takes a lot i have one i had this one for a thousand days and it's still really high i have another one so even if that happens if it were to break the only way would be to hope to find uh, a flare or something uh in a beach combing uh, but if that happened, i tell you what I would do. 
if I got to a situation where I had like 10 matches left and I didn't know if I would be able to find more, I would collect a ton of wood and I would have a massive cooking session and just make a whole bunch of water and as much food and stuff as I can and then you you hold up. In fact, I'm going to show you all my, my bases and if I wanted to now, I could probably survive for a few hundred days on this run without doing any cooking because I have so much food and so much water in every base. So so cold. stuff like that. Uh, so on day 30, my own run, I'm getting ready to start making my own animal clothes and things, starting the rabbit mittens. Is that a good idea? Yeah, I usually make the rabbit mittens first. That's right. I usually do that first. Uh, hello, toilet. Good evening to you. Okay, we're not going to stay here. We're going to go to the farm. That's our Milton base. Let's see there's nothing in here. Yeah, okay. So our base here in uh, Milton is in the farm, the Paradise Meadows farm. Uh, a lot of people use Grey Mother's house or Milton house. I don't really do that. Uh, I prefer this place. It's just more spacious and easier to navigate. And sometimes I will leave stuff here in the trailer just because you can't craft anything in HRV, but usually I just take it to the farm anyway. I don't spend a lot of time in the uh, Milton. Uh, I don't go up here. There's a bear up here. I almost never go there. I did, however, up here on the crash plane. This is one of the areas where you can find a stim. I did go there very, very late in the run. I went there on like day 480 or something, and I found the stim that I missed here. But I have lived for 100 days. One of my goals, and I have a bunch of goals to achieve. My uh, log is very long, as you can see. One of them is to survive 100 days in each region. Where is that? Yeah, this one. Uh, Spend 100 days in each region. And I have done three regions, uh, which are... Uh, four regions, okay. I've done Ash Canyon. Oh my god, why is it messing about? I've done Ash Canyon, uh, and I've done Mountain Town, Mystery Lake, and Tim Wolf Mountain. All oh, those ones I've done. But in Mountain Town, where I am now, I have spent nearly all of that time, I would say probably 70 or so, eight, 80 or 70 of those days, I spent here in the Milton Basin, because there's a moose here. And I have a, another base there. Okay. <laughs> nice to see you, Fiat. Thank you so much. My farm is locked and the key won't spawn. Yeah, they're going to fix that, so you will be able to get in eventually. It's a very nasty bug, but they're going to fix it next week. At least that's what they said. I heard corpses eventually despawn or force the spawn to happen in the tractor or truck. Well, maybe, but that's a bug anyway. Anyway. After so many days playing, is there something you think would improve the gameplay and guard the long-term survival? Uh... Not really. I think the game is fine, just like how it is. Um, there's maybe... Where's the wolf? There he is. Okay. Mm. I don't know. I suppose even if you had more crafting things, that would be done away before this. Um... No, uh, there's just so much to do in the game already that there isn't really any point in adding. There's a few things that could be cool to add to the game, like, for example, a thermos, stuff like that. But I can't think of any specific, no. Hey, Helga with the raid. Thank you so much, Helga. Let's uh, give Helga a shout out here. Can't feel my feet. Helga is a great streamer. She's from Iceland. It's a cool place. And uh, she's a very good long knock streamer. She's featured in a few of my videos as well. Hey, how are you doing, Helga? It's nice to see you. How how's your run going? Wait. Yeah, they could have a way to get drunk. Um, I don't know, I, I'll tell you about it when I get into the farm, because I have a list of things to do, and I'm not even close to finishing it. So I, I think like the game just makes itself, but I'm not sure what I would do to add anything to make it more, give it more longevity. I don't know what that would be. I'm not sure. Um... 
If it had to be anything, maybe something like... Mm, let's close it. Okay. Maybe something like uh, you could build a generator that works in the Aurora, but you need to collect car batteries and they're so heavy, a bunch of other stuff. And then you can turn lights on at night, so you can do crafting at night or something like that. I, I don't know exactly. Yeah. Um, Run is going case struggle a lot staying alive today. Oh, okay. But you're still alive though, right? So. <laughs> I want a shotgun. Yeah. You could tell he was catching up. Yeah, you could tell. That happens, you see, when you when you have a wolf on you like that, you can just walk like I'm doing, and it mostly won't attack you because it just follows you. But sometimes the wolf will be too far away, and then it will sprint to catch up with you. And when it does that, exactly what just happened can happen. There's another wolf. And then it will get too close and it can attack you. I'm just gonna go in here. I'm gonna kill this guy. I would say no, it's very cool. Uh, I saw your face. It came right away. It's still morning for me. Oh, I see. <laughs> no worries if you can't stick around. Uh, a secret volcano crater garden made by the government. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. Having a plastic bag, so we call the hide your meat from thing. Yeah, there's a lot of little, little things. Uh, let me show you what I mean by what to do. So a lot of people, uh, the, the main reason people struggle to survive this long is actually because they get bored. Uh, because most people, if you, if you make it to like day 30 or 50, then you have already kind of mastered the game. And if you made it that far, you're probably going to make it the rest. Uh, some people do still die around day 100 or so. And of course, you can die after that due to bad luck, bad decisions, or sometimes the game just kills you. And sometimes your name is around L4. But uh, for the most part, people who play longer than 200 days, um, or don't play longer, sorry, they usually stop because they're bored. They don't really know what to do. So it's not that they can't survive longer than 100 or 200 days, it's just that they don't. And usually what people say is that they are too bored, they don't know what to do. Well, I think the beauty of this game is that they don't tell you what to do, so you have to make your own game. This run is a good example of that. So if you look at my uh, my um, my notes here, I have some long-term goals, and I write when I achieve them. So some of them are really basic, like survive 500 days, which I obviously did. Things like Climb Summit, uh, Faithful Cartographer, Making the Bear Bedroll, which I did on day 99. Um, oh, this is missing. Uh, and then Killing the Special Wolves, for example, um, which I have done, except Fluffy doesn't spawn for me. He's the only wolf that does not spawn on this run. Uh, Scruffy uh, does not respawn, but Sketchy does. I killed Sketchy three times and then make more bear clothes, and so on. There's all these different things, right, to do. And there's some of them that I haven't done. For example, this one, open all wooden crates. Oh, God, why it bugs a lot, sorry. Uh, open all wooden crates. Oh, oh, it's so buggy, this thing. I hate it sometimes. Uh, yeah, so open all wooden crates. I have not done that. Um, uh, I've done a lot of areas. I have actually logged it down here. Uh, these are the boxes that I found loot in, and these are the areas that I know I've clicked all the boxes. And then there's some other things, like I haven't found all the cans. Uh, I haven't been to the Aurora Mine, which I will do after day 1000, because a lot of people die in there, so I haven't gone in it. And that, whenever I think of going there, I always read, oh, well, I'm not far from day 500, it's not far from day 1000, I'll go another time and I forget about it. So I haven't done that. Uh, that sort of stuff. There's all these different things uh, that haven't been done. The maps aren't perfect, need to do that. Uh, I want to put all the pots in the farm, so I have a six uh, slot stove and so on. There's all these different things. I want to go to the wolf plateau, I haven't done that. So there's all these different goals you can make and a lot of them I haven't done. So it just takes a while and then you have things like survive a hundred days in each region and I haven't done a hundred days in all of them yet. So you never really run out of things to do. Uh, lately I've been doing other things, like here I, I spent 50 days in Milton and I just logged everything I could with wildlife to figure out the respawn time. 
And then because of this damn crow discussion that never seems to go away, I started doing crow observations. So whenever I see crows flying about, I write uh, what the weather is, what time it is, and then if the weather has changed recently and if it's changing later. And uh, there's a pretty clear pattern, which I'll go through another time, but generally speaking, they don't really <laughs> do anything. And then like inventory and so on. So there's always all this stuff to do. I have a Rand one here somewhere, Beat Brand Survival. That was one of my early goals, which I did. But he's, he's gotten further than this since then. Uh, this run was started over two years ago. It, it was started in January 2020. So that's, that's when this was started. And if you're wondering, if you go on the pause menu, if you're wondering why I have these feats, I have the Sprint, reduce uh, Burns Less Calories, and the Book Smarts. And uh, the reason they are chosen is because they were the only badges I had at the time. So almost two and a half years ago, I didn't have the other ones. If this was a new run, I would not use these two. <laughs> okay, so I wasn't reading chat while I was talking about this. So let me just see if there was any... I think I missed a lot of stuff. Um, uh, we have Bad Batch, nice to see you. Yeah, poor Rand. Rand is still around, yeah, he's, he's, he was on today. Uh, no, you didn't miss much. We're just going base to base. Uh, thanks, yo. We got 142 days. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Good job. Uh, they hunt the packs. It's a good idea to keep them going. Yeah, exactly. You just got to have uh, stuff. Set, set your own goals. There's a, there's a few goals I probably won't do unless I do it on a different one first. Like, for example, uh, there was one. Uh, this one. Gather fire on the sticks and put it by a signal fire. It's insane team said I should do that. Maybe I'll do that. Jumping a gap. There's a gap in Hushtari Valley that we just debated if it was possible to jump across it. I don't know, but I'm not sure I want to do it because I might die if I don't manage. And then there's some things like... Um, what was the other one? But yeah, I kill fire on the predators. Uh, I did that. Uh, but there's another one which actually I should add... Uh, see if we can add it because yeah, it's missing yeah 32 will be 32 this will be kill 500 wolves with the bow uh, which i haven't done yet i have killed more than 500 wolves but not with the bow if you go to statistics and we have a look it says i killed 533 wolves but I've also been in 66 wolf struggles, which I won, so they obviously died from that. Uh, so that means I'm missing 33 wolves. Yeah, so that's another thing. Uh, I've been in a lot of stuff in this run. Uh, I've been in 66 wolf struggles. I've been mauled by bears 11 times, and I've been stomped how many times? Five times, yeah. So there's been a lot. And I fell through the ice, I think, twice. Uh, yeah, I never had dysentery, but I had a lot of blood loss. Yeah, <laughs> uh, cabinet that was easy. Five broken ribs. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, been through a lot this character. Okay, we're gonna sleep. Hey, Graffin, nice to see you. How are you doing? If you're on a very relaxing stream, go check out Graffin. Very, very cool. So this is one of my, before we sleep, this is one of my other bases. This is my Milton base. So most bases have the same thing. They have meat outside and water inside, and then a few bits and bobs, like a few saplings in case I suddenly need arrows or a bow, and then pelts around. Uh, it has wood in this one. There's books I read, fire logs, just a bunch of wood. Don't really need any of this stuff. And then in, <coughs> in here, uh, we have the curing, so we have moose. I have so many moose hides because you don't really need them for anything once you have the bag and a bunch of other stuff. And then an extra tools just for repairs and what have you. Uh, this one we can maybe take, but I'll leave it, I think. And there's even more of these. Uh, so actually, let's make a little note. Let me check that uh, on the loot. Uh, uh, does it say? I don't know if it needs to say, to be honest. I guess it doesn't need to say. I also log, um, where was it? Where my hammers are and what matches I have. Have I logged this one? This is uh, Milton Farm. Oh no, I haven't. Okay, it doesn't say. So in here, there should be some extra matches. 12 matches in here. So we got 12 matches in here. So I need to log that. That's not 
uh, that is here, 12. So then I keep track of what I have, basically. Okay. And I think we can go to sleep. Uh, actually, we can wait a little bit because it's, we're not fully rested yet. So we've got to wait three hours or something like that. <coughs> 47 falls. Yeah, I've fallen a lot. <laughs> I think we can sleep now. Let's eat that. And let's eat this. And then we'll do this. And then we'll sleep. Uh, I think we can sleep 9 hours, but I'll put 10. Hey lady, no, I uh, have a day counter up uh, to so people will know. But no, it's uh, it still be at least another hour, I think. Okay, yeah, that's a good time. We are still on... Uh, I spawned around noon, so when the sun is around the center, uh, then it should be uh, crossing some water. the next day. Uh, there are There is some stuff around here that I should take to the main base, but I'm not going to because I'm carrying a bunch of stuff and I'm going to go other places too. Why do I have a fresh rabbit pelt? That's pointless. Oh, I must have harvested a rabbit and, and left it. You know, no wonder I'm smelling them. Yeah, get rid of that too. But the bear, I, I like having the bear hides in the main base, uh, unless they're very far from the main base. At least needs repairing soon. I might repair them now. Uh, yeah, let's do it now. That's very low condition. Yeah, yeah, all, all I eat pretty much is ruined meat now. <laughs> Has this character been to Blackrock? No, Blackrock is the only region this, this character has not been in uh, because uh, Blackrock came out when uh, I was around day 920 or something and there's so many glitches in Blackrock, the people drowning by accident and stuff, I decided I'm not going to go there until after day 1000 or after the patch. It's fermented, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can safely eat ruined meat. There's a good example of uh, what someone was asking earlier. It's a sunny day, so if I wanted to now, I could just make a fire with my mag lens. It doesn't really do anything. <clears throat> and then I can just make, uh, I can cook whatever I want, or I can make a torch, and it's just easy that way. I can pick up this torch, and now I have defense against wolves. And if I want to make another fire, if the weather changes, I can just make a fire with this torch, for example. So it's pretty... It's, it's not that hard. Every now and then uh, I end up in a situation where I need to use a match. Um, like if I kill the bear somewhere in an awkward position or something, or like a blizzard hits, so I'm worried it's going to despawn. Uh, it does happen that I have to use it, but it's not not very often. How's this game not get boring? We thousand have seen the stats <laughs> at the beginning. Now you just got to make your own adventure. There's so much to do still. Uh, and there's also things to do in terms of uh, looting because even though I've been everywhere except Blackrock, there's all sorts of little things, uh, little corners I haven't been to or I haven't checked more thoroughly and so on. Oh, there we go. So it's close to noon and it's clear. Uh, there's a shortcut down here, but I'm not going to use that. We're just going to climb down normally. Let's go. What is the longest you think it will survive? <laughs> if I really wanted to, as long as I didn't do stupid decisions or anything unlucky, let's just say I did that. I'm sure I can get this character with a 10,000 or longer. But the problem is finding the time to do that. So if I wasn't a content creator, or if I only played the long dark on this run, I would have made day 1000 much earlier than this, uh, much, much earlier. Uh, but because I <laughs> I spend a lot of my time playing other runs, I do challenges, I do walkthroughs, I do other videos. Uh, I only play on this run now and then uh, when I fancy a little break. So maybe like um, anywhere from once to four times a month. And it could be anywhere from 20 minutes to a few hours. 
So progression is very, very slow. Um, but if I wanted to, then I could survive much, much longer. But I just don't have the time to play on it as much as I would like to. The more content I create, though, the more I'll probably play on it. I will create some content about this because we'll have a video for this uh, 1000 days. And then there'll be, uh, I'm going to make a video about stories from this run, like kind of like what's the story of a thousand days what happened in a thousand days where well, a lot of stuff happened and i have highlight videos but they only show a little bit about what happened and stuff like that so, so we'll see here we are in milton basin this is the moose spawn on this run but i killed the moose about 20 15 20 days ago so it won't be here we can go and find the remains uh mikey by the way thank you so much for the prime subscription uh, nice to see you, Mike. Uh, let's give a shout out to Mike. I'm sorry if there's anyone else I have not shouted out. Uh, Mike is a great streamer, very friendly guy and very easy going. So if you're on a, a nice, uh, relaxing stream, uh, he plays mostly Stalker, you can go check out Mikey. He's great. Yes, PUBG getting free is detrimental to your TLD content. Yeah, that's true. I do, I do play more PUBG now because of that. I got to play with the. Uh, uh, the, uh, the idiots. Yeah, uh, I don't think I can need to change it yet. It's uh, still 995. So here's my secondary base in uh, Milton, and I started writing the word home, but I think I used too many stones in the game or something. Because slowly, as I started adding letters here, some of the other ones started disappearing. I think the game couldn't handle it or something like that. Uh, but in here we have another base. And uh, this is where what's left of the moose is. I killed it in here a few uh, days ago. It was kind of close. It did stump me, but I uh, got it afterwards. And actually, I think we need some food, don't we? Yeah, we can eat this. And we can grab some for the road. I like to not be heavy, even though we can carry a lot. It doesn't matter if you're a bit heavy, but I like to be not too heavy. So we're going to grab like two of these or something like that. Water is fine. And here we have some spare stuff. This is a very good and easy place to have a breaks. So if, if you want to test your survival skills, try and stay here for a while. I stayed there for 50 days straight. And it was pretty easy because the moose alone gives so much food. But even if the moose doesn't spawn here, you have a bunch of deer outside. There's usually two or three of them out around here. There's rabbits down here. And then there's usually a wolf or two running about. There's four deers now. So it's pretty easy, this, this area. <coughs> yeah. Hopping to 260, I don't think it's fine now. Uh, I have to go to the doctor's appointment here. Uh, maybe it'll be on after. Okay, Mikey, thank you. I hope it goes well. And now we're coming up to the uh, infamous once sign that some of you might remember. That's over here. It's on the ground right in front here. That uh, was in uh, one of my videos and that once <laughs> reacted to. Uh, I think I've only shown it in the dark before. But you can go up and you can see it. Uh, here it is. Uh, once is sus, <laughs> which is the reference to a once and only. Let's give him a shout out, even though he's uh, not uh, on. Uh, but um, oh, I missed, probably typed wrong. But yeah, this is a once a sign. This was made uh, when. This was made when Among Us was a thing. So that was about two years ago, I, I think, or something like that. Maybe not that long ago. And a lot of, uh, I don't know how many of you know, but a lot of us long dark streamers were playing uh, Among Us. So there were maybe for a period of a few weeks, uh, once uh, me, and my wife Alensha, Goon, Can't feel my hands. Uh, I think Barbecue was in. There's a few other people who were playing uh, Among Us. And we always thought like once was a bit sus how he acted and stuff like that. So then like once the sus became like a thing. And then I made this sign to just remind ourselves that uh, he's a bit sus. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now we can get out of here. You'll find that there's a lot of campfires around. Uh, I don't really clean them up because you get cold. But I do uh, clean up my torches usually. <laughs> Once it's dreamy, yeah, that's fine. 
Uh, I generally speaking also don't kill wolves unless they get in my way because I don't need anything from the wolves. I don't wear the wolf coat. I, at least I very rarely do. Yeah, you run away. Uh, so I don't really need anything from the wolves. So therefore I very rarely hunt them. If I need food, I always prioritize hunting a moose or a bear. Or if not, then a deer. But I do kill wolves if they get in my way. That's usually what happened. Great bear, it's not your toilet. <laughs> Watching you do your dude making a fire using stick and friction, I think it'll... Yeah, yeah, you can use two sticks together to make a fire, it's just it's a lot of work, but... A lot of people are requesting a bow drill in this game, which you could add, like Green Hell, for example, has that. But in Green Hell, in Green Hell, heat is not, a, uh, it's not an element, so... That's something very important to understand, that in, in games like Green Hell, you have things like bow drill, you can make fire immediately when you spawn, very, very easily. But that's because you live in a jungle and there isn't a heat meter, so you can't get cold. Well, you can, but it's not the same. Heat and cold is not really a factor in the game, a survival factor, or at least it's a small one. Well, here it's the most important thing. Other than a struggle with an animal, what causes the most damage is, uh, is, uh, is the cold. So you need to have fire, so therefore fire is a very specific resource. If you made it so that you can make fire with a bow drill, uh, like say you need a cloth and a stick or something, it would be really, really easy. And I think a lot of the difficulty of the game would just disappear. I personally don't really think it's necessary. This is me though. <coughs> have I ever played Tealy on Cold? Yes, I started out, so... I don't know, I haven't showed many of those clips, but I have a folder of clips from four years ago. Because in 2017 and 2018 I played on console, and then in 2019 or so-ish I switched to the computer. So I used to play on PlayStation. So some of my oldest footage is uh, from there. We're gonna head to Broken Railroad now. And I'll show you my base there. There's also a moose spawn there, but I don't think the moose is going to spawn. Okay, it's past noon now, so I think now we are on day 996. So let's just fix fix that to 996. There we are. I was just looking, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. I think if Teal add friction fire, we made like 5% chance. Yeah, that's true. You could do something like that. Make it like a very unlikely thing to work. Oop, why is this not... Why can't I? What's happening? Like, is it like this? Anyway, I couldn't control the mouse or something. Still waiting for Nagoa. <laughs> I will make Nagoa, but uh, Nagoa 10 will probably be made in. Uh, I don't know. Late April, maybe? Yeah, Nagoa 10 will most likely be out late April or early May or something like that. Current on day 250 Voyager, trying to get to 500. Nice! There's always a wolf and be really careful. This is the only case when I use crampons. When it's, uh, I want to make sure I don't get sprains, because there might be a wolf or something. I put this on, and then once I'm down here, I take them off. Uh, do you have any tips on what to do to fill the time? Uh, well, uh, if you haven't done Faithful Cartographer, the easiest thing to do is if you if you haven't done Faithful Cartographer already, you should do that. That's going to kill a lot of time and it's going to force you to go into all the different areas and so on. So do that. If you have done that already, then um, then you need to set your own goals. Like, is there something about the game that you want to do? Is an area you want to explore really well to master? I thought I had a wolf. Always play with headsets, people. <laughs> uh, for example, if you, a good idea is to choose a region you don't really know that well. So, for example, if you don't really know Ash Canyon, you don't really like Ash Canyon, maybe, uh, you don't really know it that well, uh, maybe have a goal to survive 50 days there. So then you go to that region and you're trying to survive the 50 days and you'll explore everything about it, every nook and cranny, every little thing. And then you... Um, you master the region, and that's going to kill some time. 
Uh, you can also do things like open crates. You can find all the cans. You can uh, build a base, like have a bunch of different clothing items in it or whatever. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can do. How many hours do I have in the game? I don't know exactly because I don't know how you can check how many PlayStation hours I have. But on Steam I have... Uh, I think I have 850 on Steam. I can check actually. Uh, I have... No, I don't. I have 941 on Steam. And I played on PlayStation for a year, so I, I don't really know, but I would guess I have something like 1,400, maybe. Maybe you can round it up to 1.5. I don't know exactly. Hey, Sword and Leaf. Uh, Sword and Leaf is another streamer, very good long dark player, most likely the uh, winner of the basis tournament, I think, based on his score. <laughs> so give, he's a very good uh, long dark player as well. Yes, go to Hush River Valley, that's one area a lot of people don't like. Go there and, and learn it, that's a very good one. Yeah, that's also something, uh, Sword and Leaf's suggestion to gather resources is also a good idea. I've done that a few times, it's also very good. Yay, 1,000 days incoming. You have about 4,200. Yeah, there's a lot of people who have uh, very high and very high low. So the, the amount of hours you have in a game don't necessarily define how good you are at it because it diff differs. Like, Kimiota has over 10,000 hours, but he plays it, you know, for hours every day and he's played for years and years and he's, he knows everything about the game. Athena, I think, has five or 6,000 hours on the map. Uh, but uh, I only have maybe one and a half thousand. But the reason I know a lot about the game is because, well, for one thing, I want to know about it. And also, when you make tutorials and walkthroughs, you are forced to learn more about it. So you, uh, let's say that I want to make a video about um, ten mechanics in the game, right? To escape this cold. Then I have an idea about ten things, like say how walls work or whatever. And then I'll write down 10 things, but then I need to go check those 10 things. And usually about two of those 10 will not actually work the way I thought it did. And then I either remove it from the list or I modify it. Either way, you learn something about the game. So when you make content, you are forced to learn things about the game to make sure that the content is correct. And I think that means that you you become more intimate with the game, uh, irrespective of how long you have played the game. So I think that that's why uh, I have quite a lot of experience with this game, even though I have fewer hours than some other people do. But another factor is also that some people have very different playstyles. So I like to play Interloper, but some people love playing Pilgrim, and they have played the game for years, they have thousands of hours, but they have only ever played Pilgrim because that's what they like. They like to survive long time. They like to not struggle with walls and environment. They want to explore, have bases, and that's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that, and that's very relaxing. But it does mean that uh, if you look at the hours, it seems like, oh, this person's played a long time, but they don't know how to play Interloper. Yeah, but that's because they don't play Interloper, right? <laughs> like, I have played PUBG for about a thousand hours, but ranked in PUBG, I'm probably like the second lowest. I'm not any good at it, so the amount of hours doesn't dictate anything. But yeah, it's um what what matters in the long dark is that you enjoy playing the way you play it. If you like playing Pilgrim, if you like playing Nogoa or Interloper or Challenges or Story Mode, some people love story mode and they never play survival, they only play story mode. All of those things are fine. And it doesn't matter how long you played it or how little you played it. It doesn't matter if you know everything or nothing. It's not a competition about being the best at anything. So what really matters is just that you enjoy the game the way that you enjoy it, playing it. So that's why, for example, I really enjoy Interloper, but I don't really enjoy things like Nogoa that much. I find it too punishing. It's not that I can't play higher difficulties like Nogoa or Autoloper. I can do it, but I just don't think it's as fun as regular interloper, so that's why I don't play it. So if you tune into someone like Perfect Triple Once, they are really masters at that sort of stuff. 
but I don't really enjoy it as much, so I don't play it. So I think that's very important with this game, and I think it's one of the beauties of this game too. It allows you to choose how to approach it. You can stay in one area and just be hanging about there and play that one and be on lower difficulty. Or you can, um, you know, go out and become, really learn everything about the game. There's, there's no wrong way. It's one of the few games where there is no wrong way to play this game. And that's what I really like about it. I think that's really great. Okay, I missed a lot of stuff here, sorry, because I was, I was babbling a lot. <laughs> um, hey, Richard, thank you for the subscription. Thank you so much. <laughs> Eight months, thank you. And thank you for the, the, the encouragement. <laughs> I have 5,000 hours now, five years, over five years, nice. Yeah, Kimmy is, Kimmy's like, knows everything. There have been a, f I, I think this, I've seen like one or two cases in my entire Twitch, uh, sorry, long dark career where Kimmy was wrong about something. It almost never happened. Do you think PC is better than console? Uh, yes, because you can react a lot faster on, on, uh, on PC than you can on console. Clear all regions from one out to one. Yeah, that's one of my misc things to to clear the regions. I I pick up torches whenever I see them, but not always. I sometimes leave them behind. Uh, we all enjoy the long dark, no matter the level of difficulty, no matter how long we play, no matter how many times we die. Yes, exactly. We all enjoy the same beautiful experience. Exactly. You can play this however you want, and it's always fun. You know. Uh, we all, you know, just give me out this all to come. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, exploring even an interlope eventually becomes boring because you already know everything. Exploring is really exciting until you explore 100. percent Yeah, I guess, I guess so. Yeah. Uh, the only way to play single player game wrong is to not enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Look okay, at the game is beautiful. Yeah, it is. Uh, it also depends on your goal. My personal best of lope is 30 days, but I've achieved everything I wanted to, and now I feel I don't have to play. Yeah, that's a good, good, uh, good point. The beauty of the game is also the community around, always helpful and friendly. That's true. It is a fantastic community. So here we are on Broken Railroad. Uh, there isn't much to see in here. This is like a backup base. But up here is that crate that you may have seen in the Hidden Loot video. Uh, up here. And I opened this on day 690 on this run. And inside was a stim. So those of you who have seen my videos who saw my 500 days highlight video. Uh, you may have noticed that in one of the scenes I put a note saying last stim used. That was the last stim that I had. Uh, but that wasn't true because there were some I missed. I missed two stims. I missed one here and one in... I think it was the barn. I can't remember what the other one was. <laughs> but there was another what? stim I missed. And then Ash Canyon came out and I got a first stim. So I have three stims now. Okay. Hey, thank you for the gifted subs, uh, sub uh, lady. Now we have some backup stuff. I don't need any of this. Uh, we're going to go up to the hunting lodge, which is my uh, base in this area. <coughs> I'm getting close to day 1000. Uh, the bear should be out. But the moose should not be out, I don't think. Because I've killed it maybe... I think it was 50 days ago or something. I'm not sure exactly. Now the deer out, because I don't really kill them very much. But the, the moose, sorry, the bear is around here somewhere. But the moose, I don't think, will have respawned at this point. So, what's the Nogoa challenge? You mentioned something like Yeah, Nogoa. Uh, if you just look up the first episode of Nogoa on my YouTube channel, uh, it will explain all of that. Oh, maybe that doesn't work anymore. <laughs> I don't know. <coughs> hey, don't worry, Helga. It mean, it's basically super interloper. It's basically interloper, but more punishing, and you can't regenerate health. Yeah. First time chat, I want to say thank you, Zach. I learned loads from you, your YouTube, YouTube, sorry, 
while I don't play LOPA yet, I'll be ready when I do, and I'm glad I finally caught you streaming. Hey, <laughs> no worries. Thank you so much, uh, Kafara Lightfoot. Cool name. Yeah, uh, thank you so much. And uh, S uh, Samiad in the mist. Thank you for the follow. It's kind of as that sleep with a couple extra rules. Yes, that's a good explanation. It's basically the challenge as that sleep, except it's on survival. <laughs> Sounds like the wolves are out. <laughs> what? Uh, Tina with the subscription for three. Thank you so much, Tina. How are you doing? Nice to see you. Tina is another good uh, uh, long dog streamer. It was very fun. <coughs> Just check her out too. I'm not sure if the commands are actually working. Uh, because oh, I think maybe it broke. I can fix that though. I'll just turn cloud dot off. Oh. oh, come on. He's going for bunny. This guy. I don't need to harvest the wolf because there's nothing I need from him. I don't rest soon. I'm gonna fix. There we go. National Geographic. <laughs> this is. Oh, I was just lost to you. Let's see. I could kill the wolf, but I don't really need anything from it. So this is my base here in Broken Railroad. I come here quite a bit because the moose spawn uh, is right here. Uh, as in Road Sips 2. But uh, I killed it not that long ago, so it's not there right now. But the remnants of it is right here. <laughs> We can uh, stay here for the night, I think. Yeah, because it's yeah, it's getting kind of late, so we can just stay here. Let's grab two of these. Let me go inside. Thank you for the soul. I appreciate it. And your tutorial. Hey, no worries. Let me actually though. I don't think it worked. So that happens sometimes that it bugs out. So let me just turn off the uh, cloud bot thing. And then turn it on again. It usually fixes it. It didn't seem to work for some reason. Uh, oh yeah, it's actually it wasn't on. Actually, it was off. No wonder it wasn't working. How bizarre! Let's just try it now. Maybe it doesn't. Uh, there we go. Now it's working. Okay. So sorry if anyone who missed out. Acidic virus is also here, so give him a shout out too. So yeah, here's the base for this area. We got, we got, we got a black bear. Uh, that can stay here, <clears throat> I suppose. No, we're gonna take it with us. And we just take one more water. And I think we're gonna just sleep here for the night. We got a lot of moose hide, as you can see. I think this pack is getting three heavy. of them. And a lot of guts. I don't think it's anything you need repairing of this stuff. And no, not really, no. We're gonna go up and sleep. Let's do that. So let's wait it out a little bit. And wait. I would think so. Always pretty cool. Thank you, Bane. Woof or woot or yeah, <laughs> thank you. All right, let's uh, pass some time and sleep. Hey, uh, C, how are you doing? Let's give a shout out to you as well. I think it's, it's C you prefer, I would, right? I would say no is very cool. Mary Shales, thank you for the follow as well. All right, I think now we can sleep. Where did the bed go here? Bed. Let's eat this. Have a drink, and we're gonna sleep. I'm from Norway, Ole Magnus. It sounds like you probably are so tired. <clears throat> we're approaching 997 now. Yeah, almost at 997. And there's much more to see here. 
if you ever go ahead to Broken Railroad, uh, make sure you go to the ravine. A lot of people don't do that. I'll show you what I mean. A lot of people think it's kind of pointless or risky, but you really need to go there, especially an interloper. Uh, when I'm talking about this area here, this area underneath the broken bridge, over here there is a rope anchor. Then you need to attach a rope uh, there. If you don't have one, you just take the one and say, "Well, there's one attached here. I, I think it's always there." <laughs> So you just you just grab that one, or you always find one or what or something, and you go over and attach it. And then you go down, and you'll find some miscellaneous loot, uh, wolf and their carcass usually, and then, and a box. And you very often, not always, but you usually find a stim here. Um, it's like a bonus stim, and you can find coffee, you can find a mag lens, you can find a fire striker, you can find all sorts of things. It's a very very good place to go. Uh, Rand, <laughs> hey Rand my friend, how are you doing? So nice to see you and thank you for the subscription. How are you doing Rand? It's Rand from uh, from the video. How are you doing Rand? So nice to see you. <coughs> yeah, uh, we are, are we now at? No, but almost. We're gonna head back and out of this and we're gonna head to the main base now I think. I'm gonna get head head home to the main base. Let's see if I can take a shortcut there. But only thing is, I'm a bit worried about this bear. No bear yet. He just wants to stop. <laughs> I think the deer would have run away if he was closer. There's the wolves, three wolves. No bear. But yeah, we are okay. Let's head out of here. We don't have anything here to hang about for. So we can just leave. We can drop by the the maintenance yard just to warm up, but that's about it. Uh, he is back there, the bear. But uh, it would be unlucky if he was right there. Probably make a few arrows when we get to Mystery Lake. Ambushed by two wolves so far in just two days. <laughs> That wolf is going after a deer. And he just killed it. Alright, let's uh, harvest this stuff. How is this? I could have made some arrows up there actually, but I'll do it in the base. We'll harvest these two. Cooldown complete. Hive train is ready to leave the station. Thank you uh, for letting me know, Streamlabs. Well, it was cool though that the first one was a boost train. I've never, never seen that before. Yeah, I think the cooldown for hive trains is one hour. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I think all of these ones have been opened of the crates. And the only crates I haven't opened here are the ones that are up there, which is kind of pointless. But if you, there's a crate that's usually here, right here. If you open that one, there's usually beans inside. And there's another crate over here, uh, around here somewhere. If you open that one, there's like cured leather inside. Yeah. A lady with the 200 bits, thank you so much. That's too kind for you. Oh, for you, of you. Thank you so much. Okay, we're gonna wait and head out to Mr. Lake. And I think we are almost at 997, so let's just do that. Should, should be any minute now. Maybe it wasn't exactly noon that I spawned. It must be just after, I guess. That's okay, though. We'll just head out of here. Okay, 
Is that? Yeah, it is. Uh, it's just noon, I'd say. Or 997. Uh, I don't remember this changing at any point. I don't remember the weather changing at any point. We'll see here if it does. Uh, I guess it's just past noon. There's only really one wolf in the way now, which is the one by the train here, but shouldn't be an issue. So you can see, uh, because of the clothing bonus that I have, and that it's sunny and everything, I'm not cold at all, really. I'm minus two degrees, which is the benefit of having uh, the double bear coat. Uh, did anyone figure out, uh, yeah, they make you look up. They don't mean anything, uh, Wayne. They are pure ambience. They usually appear in the morning, at noon, and in the evening. Uh, some people have said that they think it predicts the weather, which it clearly doesn't. But some have said that maybe it does, they appear whenever the weather changes. And the reason you don't always see them when the weather changes is because you're indoors. So say you're indoors and it's foggy, then you pass some time and then you come out, it's clear, and then you see the the, the crows. So the, the weather changed while you were indoors, but the crows didn't trigger until you went outside. So they, they actually represent a change that already happened. That's possible that's the case. But I don't think so, because if that was the case, then whenever you see crows, you know, think about how long how long does it take crows to fly across an entire map? Not that long, like a couple minutes at most. So if if they really just flew around whenever the weather changed, even if it was from clear to foggy or even if it's just the wind changing, then the weather should change every time you see crows flying about. But it doesn't. It happens all the time the crows fly over and nothing happens. Uh, sometimes the weather changes just before or just after. So that means that either the crows don't do anything to do with the weather, they are not related to weather change at all, or that when the weather changes there is a chance that the crows spawn as a result of it. Um, but either way, it it's doesn't it doesn't give you any information because if crows spawn all the time and the weather doesn't change, then it's pointless information. You you see crows and you think, oh, the weather might change. I could maybe go inside because maybe a storm is coming. But then again, maybe it's not coming. So it's the same as if you didn't see crows. And think about how often you've been outside and the weather has changed and there's no crows. You're just walking about, oh, it got foggy, but there's no crows around. So even if the crows did, even if the crows were connected to weather somehow, it's not reliable. So therefore, they aren't really useful for anything. So even if they are somehow connected, um, they aren't really useful for it. So as far as I'm concerned, the pure ambience, as uh, as Lady Ray aptly put it, uh, they make you look up. <laughs> That's about it. Uh, hey, Jacob the Trooper. <laughs> nice to see you. Hey, Insane. Nice to see you too. Uh, I just mentioned you earlier because you're listed in one of my uh, goals. <laughs> nice to see you. Wait, hold on. Yeah, they continue to fly over PV exactly. That's exactly what they would do. <coughs> uh, TLD myth, yeah. Ray stayed in an old Milton Mayor with a moon crossing nothing. I'm not sure it was already known. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He said that they don't mean anything. Uh, in the defense, though, that was three years ago. So it's, and he did say, he did say that for now they don't do anything. So it's possible that they at some point will do something. But I don't think so. Let's. Drop by Spencer's farm, shall we? And we can also see if Larry is home. Larry the Indo Rabbit. He's almost never home. I've only seen him twice. But sometimes he is home. So we can see if Larry is home. Larry is the Indo Rabbit. The only Indo Rabbit in the game. 
You should never kill Larry, because it's bad luck. Not that that's a real thing. <coughs> uh, but yeah, uh, I did actually... Uh, I've started working on a video about the crows, but it's in early stages. And uh, I contacted Hintelen about it, and they were willing to uh, share some information about it with me. Uh, because, quote, they said, they like my movies. <laughs> How nice of them to say. Uh, but they asked if it could wait because they wanted to prioritize things like the hotfix and patches and things. So I said, yeah, don't worry about it. I'll make the video another time. So I'm not going to start working on that video until at the very least after the next patch comes out. Uh, when Hintlin has time to tell me a bit about that mechanic. Um... Is this going to something dead then? <laughs> I watched for hours and hours your content on YouTube. Find a call of Twitch stream. Yes, very hey, nice to see you, Keith Randall53. I missed the old crow sounds. Oh, yeah, they did sound a bit different before, didn't they? Uh, these things here, by the way, these things, don't be fooled by that. That's not ground. Just trust me. <laughs> I, I've fallen through the ice there. Well, oh, that's fine. I'll just run this little thing there. And then uh, I fell through the ice. Okay, so note now. Oops, why did that happen? Note now, it is maybe 2 p.m. or something. Uh, so let's see. Change to foggy. I say light fog. Light fog. About one to two hours later. Yeah, ish. I'm not sure exactly. Ah, this is... Yeah, this is light fog. <coughs> uh, you can't tell what's safe ice or not. You can only tell based on the warning sign, like this. There are some... Exce uh, here we go, let's see. Uh, there, like that. That's, that's all. There are some exceptions. I think maybe this is safe ice, but I'm not sure. No. There are a few places where you can walk across the ice, but there's nothing that really there's nothing that really tells you that it's safe. You just have to know. No birds. Yeah, yeah, exactly, lady. Coincidence. Uh, notice how I'm warming up because it's plus two degrees. That's why you should have the double bear coat. Double bear coat for the win. And I saw someone asked in, I think it was Facebook or something, not that long ago, they said, does anyone ever use air wraps? I feel they're pointless. And it's like, yes, you should always use the air wraps, because if I didn't use them right now, I would have only plus one degree, and that's assuming these things are repaired. This gives me plus one whole degree. And I don't have cold fusion, remember? I don't have the cold fusion thing. Uh, so it's really important for me to have that. I just always have the same thing. I have a satchel, and then I have the air wrap, and I'll rotate between these two. Uh, I only have one air wrap. I found three in the game, total three, but two of them got ruined by bear attacks. One on day... I think day 700 or something, and the other one I don't remember exactly when it got ruined, so I only have one left. But I do have three extra of these, well, I probably will let some of them decompose. And I have two extra of these. Yeah. <coughs> uh, it's all audio and visual for the most part. Yeah, the white is sometimes safe, but it's not giveaway exactly. So you can't really use... Just always be ready to run on ice if you get the audio cue. Yeah, you don't even need the audio cue. You can just look on the screen. It will give you the... The, uh, the icon. Like this one. Uh, like this. Uh, let's see how it should come. That see that that little exclamation point thing. So that's it. You don't really need anything else. Uh, I wouldn't try crossing something you don't think you can realistically manage. <laughs> hey, Smash! How you doing? Nice to see you. Yes, I just got back, and uh, I haven't been uh, on PUBG, uh, but I just had a chance to wrap up my 1,000 days, and I thought I would take it, because also 
it's been looming a bit because uh, I haven't been to Blackrock because of it and all this stuff. I need to get to day 1000 before I do anything new with this character. It's been two two years in the making. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, I probably can join PUBG tomorrow. Probably. No idea, that's me. <laughs> Uh, Smash in the chat is one of the uh, Norwegian PUBG idiots, which I also am. Uh, you can watch the videos on my YouTube if you want. There's a new one in the in the works. Really nice guy and long time subscriber. Uh, crampons, Wayne, they influence uh, the breaking time. So if you have these on, then you. Uh, when the sound triggers, it takes longer before you fall through the ice. So it doesn't really make much difference, but it can be helpful. Yeah, that's right. You're the pro idiot. <laughs> Smash the pro. That's right. <laughs> okay, here's my uh, full-on musket base. So this is... Um, yeah, they add about one. That sounds about right. It was tested when it came out. I think Kimiota and Athena tested it. It's, it's about one second, yeah. So this is my uh, full musket base. It's not really a base to speak of. There isn't really anything here except for some bits and bobs. But this is the forge. This is pretty much where I forged. See you, Smash, and have a have a nice evening. <laughs> um, five without six. That sounds correct. Yeah. Uh, so I, what I have here is I have one of my hammers, and I have tools for repairing the hammer. And that's about it. Food and coal. That's pretty much it. Yeah. So that's uh, what this is. I always have one of these here too because you can make water while you make stuff. I'm gonna take these back to the base. How are we doing with food and stuff? Uh, let's eat one of these. Dear meats. Let's actually bring some. We'll take one more with us. And one water as well. We'll take one water. And one, uh, we'll take a wolf, I guess. Yes, I agree with that. Uh, so that's not much base to speak of. I don't think there's any matches or anything here at all. Spencers, I don't think there's any matches or any Spencers. I don't think so. No, so this will be... Oh, you know, I don't know if I checked the lodge. No, I didn't. I have a little locker there. I forgot to check how many matches there are. Oh, well. <laughs> so I was just I chatting, I was just chatting to my wife. Uh, yeah, zero here. I forgot to check later. I forgot to do that. Uh, I don't think there's any here. I don't think I have any matches there. Fishing cabins like these have matches, yeah. So, yeah. Hey, John English, thank you for the follow. That's Johnny English from the edits, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Thank you, Johnny. Uh, I don't think you can climb fast, or at least you can climb high without stopping to read. Yeah, so I tested the crampons for climbing for my video. Um, which one was that? I don't remember which. I think it's the first video or the second one. Uh, the crampons don't really do anything climbing wise. I don't really use them. The crampons just reduce your stamina loss, so your sprint meter basically. And that's it. They don't really do anything else. Uh, I agree that they should reduce fatigue rather than stamina because, sure, you can now climb. Uh, you can climb a longer rope now without taking a break, assuming you have the stamina to do so or fatigue to do so but uh, okay. he's in my way so we gotta kill this guy there's another one though there he is yeah let's run past this guy out to get me welcome to the most secure place in the <laughs> exactly <laughs> What's the name of the rabbit in the cave? The rabbit is Larry. That's right. Yeah, so I tested it, and the way I tested it, because it was for a video, I could just edit it and put the footage side by side and time it to the second or millisecond exactly what happens. And it turns out that when you climb a rope with crampons, 
it takes literally exactly the same amount of time as climbing without the crampons. Because you, you, I can just compare them next to each other frame by frame. And it's literally the exact same. And, the, and, and the, the fatigue meter is drained exactly the same as well. The only difference it makes with climbing is that your sprint meter, your climbing meter, whatever, that drains slower. That's the only difference. And then, yeah, you get one second more on the ice. I don't use it for any of these things. I, I often don't put it on when I climb. I do use it, however, for the for sprains. Because sprain, curing sprains requires cloth unless I sleep. So because of that, uh, I uh, try to avoid using cloth and I just avoid the sprains altogether. So I do use it for that, even though I don't really need to carry it with me. The name of the canyon roof is Fluffy. Uh, I think we're just going to head to Larry's cave. Um, some people call Fluffy, uh, what was it? Mo uh, Muffy, I think it was, or something like that. They think they think that uh, the canary wolf is a different wolf from Fluffy, but it's not, because in the developer notes, they specifically refer to Fluffy in the canary. So that is Fluffy, it's just relocated. It's not that um I wonder how I ended up here. Uh, Larry, uh, I don't know if Larry respawns. I never killed Larry, so I, I don't actually know if he respawns. Feel free to try it out, but uh, I never kill Larry just because I like Larry. <laughs> <laughs> if he's not there, we're going to check now to see if Larry is home. And if he's not home, uh, he will make a brief appearance in the video. If you stick to the end of the stream, I'm going to show a video of my 1000 days, a very short one, and Larry will make a little appearance then. So, yeah. I've heard people say that Kramers have a beach coming. Is that true? That would make sense, yes, but that's because of the ice breaking. So it will add to the one second. The ice won't break as easy. So it will help with be beach coming in the sense that it will make it so you can last longer uh, before the ice breaks. But yeah. Love his rent and that was too high. <laughs> too damn high. Oh, sorry, that's pretty good. All right, let's see if Larry's home. This is Larry's home. Oh, sorry. Yes, you are right. I have not. I am a 997. I thank you for that. I forgot to change it. This happens all the time. Especially because it's at noon. So this is the cave to uh, Bleak Inlet. And this is Larry's home. This is the only rabbit in the game, at least that I'm aware of, that is indoors. Uh... Therefore, I call him Larry, and the reason I call him Larry is just because, for no particular reason, I call bunnies Barry. And then I figured, well, this is the only rabbit that's indoors, so this is Larry. <laughs> there are some dead indoor rabbits, like an HRV, but they don't really count. So here's his home. He is not home. But well, this is his gift. <clears throat> this is something Malaku suggested. A peace offering to Larry. Which is a broken snare. This is broken. And then some cattails, some water, which I tried to put in a cup but didn't work. And some rose hips for him to eat. So this is a gift for, to Larry the rabbit. Should really have an emote for him. So this is the only place. He don't usually go that way. He always stays around here. So yeah, this is Larry, but he's no home. I'll show you footage of him at the end of the stream, though. He doesn't look any different. He just runs around indoors, is all. But he's very rare. I've only found him um, two or three times, I think. Something like that. All right. I think we will sleep here tonight. Actually, let's wait a bit because uh, it's getting dark. And we'll just pass some time until we can sleep. And we'll head to our main base in Mystery Lake. Uh, I think this is approaching good enough, yeah. Let's see, these two. I can also check that I ate correctly. Yes, I did. And then we have a drink. <coughs> and then we're going to head to the main base. 
after sleeping. Sleep for 10 hours. We'll do a little sit rep in the main base. Anyway, we're getting close to day 1000 now, so... <laughs> Alright, that's good. Almost 998. Uh, I guess we'll eat this. We're going to head to the main base anyway. So we're not going to run out of food before we get there. <clears throat> okay. Let's head out of here. Bonk, exactly. <laughs> That's one of my favorite <laughs> Ooh, mushrooms. Hey, it's a clear day. Let's see if crows show up. Uh, I could have sworn that I saw moose markings here once, but I think it was on a different run. So there's a few uh, moose spawns that are not active in this run. And some of them are a bit weird, and I'll tell you about them now if you're interested. So there are a few areas in the game on this run that doesn't have a moose spawn. Uh, hey, Ponkis, how are you doing? Oh, by the way, it has the ruined snow shelf that I never did anything with. Let me just take a quick look at it. This is extra cloth if I ever need it in a pinch, you know. <coughs> it can't be used. Now, oh, anyway. Um, there are a few regions that don't have moose spawns in, on this run. One of them is here in Fallen Muskeg. Uh, none of the moose spawns are active. There is no markings. So it's it's not like you, you can't find a moose in every region. At least not on the interlope. In this run, there is no moose here in Fallen Muskeg. There's also no moose in Desolation Point. There's no markings there. And then there is, uh, there's no moose in Coastal Highway, although theoretically speaking, that moose can spawn. It is possible for the moose in Coastal Highway to spawn, even though you don't have markings and you've never seen it before. It's like a rare chance type of thing. It either spawns frequently or it just spawns rarely. Let me turn off that. I think I have some a notification on or something. Uh, let's turn that off. Let's change this to do not disturb. That's oh, already okay. Uh, and then Mystery Lake has a moose in the dam, but I, you can also get the moose uh, by trappers independent of the dam, which has happened to me once. So in a thousand days now, in one thousand days. I have killed the moose by the dam quite a few times, and the moose in trappers ha has only appeared once, once in a thousand days as that moose spawned. Uh, and then Pleasant Valley is odd because I have moose markings in Pleasant Valley. Pleasant Valley has moose markings on the trees, but the moose never spawns. I have not seen it once. Every time I check, it's never there. So it's just not there. Um, and then, is that it? So yeah, Fallen Muskeg, Pleasant Valley, Coastal Highway, and Desolation Point. Those four areas do not have moose on this run. The other areas do have moose. Tim Wolf Mountain has one by the wings. Ash Canyon has one by Britta Marsh. Uh, Monsieur Lake has two. Uh, Ble Bleak Inlet has three moose on this run. There's three different locations, all of them can spawn. I've killed all three on this run. Uh, Broken Railroad has one by the Hunting Lodge. Milton has one by the Basin. HRV has one in uh, Ash River Valley, uh, the Moose Valley. Blackrock, I don't know, I haven't been there yet. Who made your emotes? Uh, I made them. Uh, they are my emotes. Except for the ones I took from my logo. Uh, this one and this one uh, are uh, extracted from my logo which was made by a professional so I, I didn't make those I just extracted them which doesn't really count the other ones I made the ones that like. are TLD logos are rotoscoped um, versions of the game items so I have a hacksaw uh, for example hold on and uh, Blades, the streamer Blades CJ, he also has the hacksaw, but his hacksaw is the one from the game and mine is a pixelated version. Let's see. Um, what's your favorite game right now? Oh, it's this. This is my favorite game. But I also really... There you go, that's it. That's an even better version. This is my favorite game, I think, but I also really enjoy PUBG. And I like Overwatch. 
and I like uh, Hearthstone and a certain degree Counter Strike. I like Mass Effect, Dragon Age. I like mostly watch my wife play Dragon Age. Yeah, I think my favorite game is uh, The Long Dark. I don't know if you have ever seen this before. Uh, this is a lost and found crate. I think I have two of them in this run. Uh, if you've never seen one before, uh, these happen when a patch hits and they change something that forces your loot to relocate. In this case, if I open it, you'll see that it's mostly cattail heads. Uh, this means that um, I probably looted some cattails and the heads fell on the ground and then they changed something so the loot just moved into this box. But because I haven't taken it, the box is still here. Once you empty it, uh, it disappears and you can't put anything in it. Let's see, we are still on 997. I think there was a question here that I missed. Let's just head in here. <coughs> Uh, I had the, the Trappist Moose seemed to be the only one I ever get. Yeah, either Trappist Moose is a regular one or a rare one. I had the CH Moose spawn with the bear at the same time. Yeah, that happens as rare also. Because this is fun. <laughs> uh, a long time YouTube watcher finally got my Twitch sorted. Great work. Thank you, the Dragon Reborn. That's too kind. Thank you for dropping by and for the and for the follow. Thank you. I saw you have quite a few old Counter Strike videos on your channel. Do you play Go at all, or do you prefer old CS? Yes. Uh, yes, I do play uh, Counter Strike Go. Uh, thank you, uh, Chan, for the follow. I play Counter Strike Go with the PUBG idiots. So if you go on my YouTube channel and watch my uh, PUBG videos, they are all with the Norwegian idiots, as we call ourselves. And uh, I play Counter Strike Go with those too. And I've never made a video about it, but I have quite a lot of footage, and I have been meaning to do it. I just never got around to it, but there has been a lot of funny things happening when I play with them. Uh, so I probably will do it one day, um, but I just haven't gotten around to it uh, yet. <clears throat> uh, what was my question asked? Uh, okay. It's not quite there yet. So we're heading to the main base now. <coughs> this is where I keep most of my stuff. Um, and I might make a video about my bases. So we can see what's in them. But I'll do that another time. For now I'm just going to show you. Let's see. Oh, I'm going against the wind now, so it's really slow. <laughs> By the way, you can find coal here if you didn't know. Uh, along the tracks here, uh, the tracks, along the wall here on the side, this side, so you, you usually get uh, one or two coal. Uh, I looted it not long ago though, so it's not there anymore. But if you follow this line, you should get it. Yeah, the wind is against me today. I'm not even heavy, but it's going to go slow. I don't think we'll stay here in Trappers unless we need to repair something, but um, we'll keep moving. I think we're probably going to go to Desolation Point. What I think we'll do, we'll head to Desolation Point and start moving towards the Day 1000 celebration. And then if we have time, I can go to the other regions afterwards. Uh, I need to go to Blackrock anyway at some point. But we'll see how far that goes. <clears throat> but because of when I spawned, I spawned around noon. Uh, the celebration thing I want to do, which is just a little silly thing. Uh, it has to happen at night. So that would mean that it's after I reach day 1000. Possibly even 1001, depending on the weather. So we'll see. So there might be two celebrations. One when I actually cross it, and one when I... Uh, I'm back. There! Three there! Look at the herd. Uh, the, the wildlife does thin out the longer you play. And they become less and less of them, so it's not uncommon to go around and you only see one there. But because I don't hunt very often anymore, 
they have time to respawn. So these days, whenever I go somewhere, you usually see three there. Just because I don't usually kill them. Uh, the, the main diet that I have is moose and bear meat. And unfortunately, even though this is my main base here in Trappers, uh, there is no moose or bear spawn here. So I very often kite the, um, the bear up here and I kill it here. And then sometimes I kill there just for some extra meat. But that's about it. Yeah. Bruce Almighty. <laughs> Thank you for the follow MTY 2010. Thank you. Oh, sorry, there's some other ones there. Hey, Zach, I have been lurking around your YouTube channel for a while and finally caught you live. It's pretty difficult since I live in Finland, but it's nice to see you though. Hey, thank you so much, Urchin, for coming by. And hello to Finland uh, from me. <laughs> how long how long does it take for stuff like coal to respawn? Um, coal takes 21 days to respawn. Or rather, it takes up to 21 days, which means that if you go somewhere and loot the coal and you come back three weeks later, it will be back, but it can be back earlier. So you, you can check before that, but it's not necessarily. That. So this is the main base, if you want to see that. <laughs> the main base is where I keep most of my stuff. So outside there, there is a bunch of uh, meat, a lot of uh, bear meat and some moose meat. Uh, the moose meat is from that one time, the one time the moose spawned here in a thousand days. And sometimes there's some wolf meat or bear meat there. I keep a bunch of extra pots there, so if I want to cook a bunch of water, I can do that. And every hundred days or so, I usually come back here and I just do a bunch of cooking, get a whole bunch of food, because eventually this runs out. Eventually it runs out. So every hundred or two hundred days, I come back here and I kill a bear or something, and I get all the meat out, and then I make a bunch of water and take it inside. And also outside here is some snares. I never use them. I just may use these to test the limits. And I think if I remember correctly, if you put the snares, I think it was around here. You actually do it, I suppose. I think the line was around here. And then you can catch rabbits. But if you put them here, you don't catch rabbits. Over here I have my used bows. These are all destroyed. <coughs> uh, I started just collecting them, the ones that are ruined. But uh, there's way more that are ruined. I just didn't start collecting them until a while ago. Let's go inside. Is there any benefit to breaking down a bonfire? Uh, not really, no. It just makes it look nicer. <coughs> so this is the main base. We can actually do some lighting so you can see better. And here we have, we have a few coffees. I don't have much coffee left. I think these are the last three. Sometimes I carry one coffee on me if I'm going to a new area or something, just because I need to make sure. Uh, have all tears ruined. We have a bunch of uh, hides here. We have moose hides, we have bear hides, wolf hides, deer hides. I could probably use some more deer hides actually. A bunch of rabbit hides and saplings. So, as you can see, it's going to take a while before I run out of bows because I can make. Between all the bases, I can probably make another 40 bows or something. It's going to take forever for that to run out. Arrows. In fact, we might make some arrows. And then we have our extra cloaks and wolf skin. I only really use these if I go to Bleak Inlet because Bleak Inlet is so cold that it doesn't matter that you have double bear coat. You're going to get cold anyway. So if that's the case, I usually wear the moose cloak instead before protection. And I have an extra satchel here, just in case. And I have my collection of <laughs> <coughs> my collection of pry bars because why not? Some extra storm lanterns here. Some salty crackers are left over. This one's empty. We have all four jerry cans, and these are refilled every now and then. Maybe every I don't know, every three hundred to four hundred days, I go and refill these. This one is full. I think these are all full. No, three, three. This one is thin. We have some extra hatchets and things, extra knives. We have a bunch of marine flares because I never use them. We have a bunch of extra tools, but these shouldn't really be here. These should really be in the other bases so I can make arrows and repair tools. They shouldn't really be here. Uh, 
you refill them or you refill them by fishing so if you have the this in your inventory if you have this one this one's not full if you have this in your inventory when you fish then uh, when you cook the fish the oil will go into this can instead of the lantern oil thing i don't know if i have any of those uh, no so you normally when you cook a fish you get a little bit of lantern oil but if you have this in your inventory instead, then you refill this instead. But of course you get very little. So one day I decided to refill all four. And I think it took me about 20 days to do that. Uh, I dragged them all to the fishing hut and I kept them in my inventory and I just filled them up one at a time and took them back here. It took a long time to do. I think it was about 20 days or 15 days. Or something like that. And you refill them. Uh, you must never empty them. If you empty it, if you if this gets to zero, it will despawn and you'll lose it. Uh, <clears throat> uh, there is a difference. Uh, they weigh less in the jerry can. I don't know why exactly. This is four liters, but it weighs 3.3 kilos rather than four kilos. So I don't know why that is, but it just is. Then we have our collection of spray paints, because why not? We have some extra hacksaws that also maybe should be around in different bases. We have some extra can openers. We have a fire striker, flares. We have the flare pistol, which uh, is out of shells. I used my last shells on day 122 or something like that. We have an extra hammer, pork beans, more hatches that can fit. And we have our bullets, our revolver ammos. <coughs> Three three bullets, um, and has the extra uh, magnifying lens. If you're wondering how I have bullets, these are the um, these are the Hushra Valley bullets. They usually spawn two or three of them, in sometimes invisible, and of course there's no revolver, so you can't really do anything. But yeah, you know. <coughs> yeah, exactly, Fiat. You got it. It's weird, but this is how it is. Then we have a bedroll. Oh god, that's ruined. That I didn't mean to pick up. I don't know why I keep it here though. It doesn't really make any difference. Okay, now I ruined that. Uh, can I put it somewhere else? Let's just leave it like this then for now. These fish are just the fish, fish, the biggest fish I ever caught. Just saved. So this salmon here is 6.01 kilos. I have seen people get bigger than this, but it's as big as I have, so I took it here as a trophy. And this is the biggest ba bass I've gotten, which is 4.48 kilos. And the same with these ones, but they're less interesting. This is, uh, what's this? 2.3 kilos whitefish, and 2.5 kilos trout. And then we have <coughs> five gunpowder. Which is literally just there because I either I either found them or I made them in the cannery, and yeah, that's about it. Then we have a bunch of teas, uh, health stuff here. Uh, we have an extra stim in here, a backup stim, some birch for emergency healing. Uh, and we have some miscellaneous stuff. Oh, that reminds me, the bear should be put down here. Let's put this down. This is for curing. Uh, in here we have these books, uh, which I have not read. Maybe I'll read them one day. <laughs> Thank you for the follow Life After Dark, by the way. Here's the extra matches that someone asked about earlier. So in here we have whatever this is, uh, 2448, uh, 52, 72 matches. And that's it. Now the sapling is to use, it's not to drop. Grab that. Did I, did I pick up meat? No, I didn't. And then we have a bunch of teas and some extra meds and things. And uh, these are the cans. Just in case I want to make noise makers one day. And yeah, that's it. I guess that's it for the base. Let's refill this. Speaking of refilling it, so then I'm going to grab this. And I'm going to refill this. And then we're going to put this back. And I think now we transition to 998, we have. So let's sort that out, 998. 
Uh, should I already make a base for myself on interval day 40? Yeah, yeah, by day 40 you should. So I always do, I always start moving when I spawn. I'm very nomadic, you start moving right away. But you should have an idea where you want your main base. And I highly recommend either trappers or camp offers. And if not trappers or camp offers, then go something like the garage or the farm in Pleasant Valley or something. And that doesn't have to be a base where you stay. But it's where you want to dump the stuff that you want to keep. It's just easier that way. <clears throat> okay, let's uh, get some food because I forgot to do that. We're going to make a couple of arrows. Uh, let's grab four of these. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Okay, we're going to make three arrows. Our shaft. I think we should be able to make all three. Grab this so we can make it faster. Oh, yeah, we need to make that too. You make it twice as fast if you use this. I don't have enough feathers. Okay. Right. How many more feathers? Two more feathers. There we go, a few more arrows. Uh, we might actually stay here tonight. Uh, we'll see. We might go to camp office. Okay, we'll do this. We'll eat and drink. Yeah, camp office is, is, is good. And we're going to drop this back down. Alright, let me do a little sit drop inventory wise. So let's see it. Birch bark, yeah, we can just craft that right away. You can also craft this rose hip, which we don't need, I don't think. I think we can probably just take it and leave it here. Um, yeah, just leave that here. And let's see what else we got. So that's fine. Uh, we don't even need this many matches, so we can leave some behind. Because we have the uh, fire striker, so that's fine. I added now 24, so now the count here is. All your vids are awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Life After Dark, for the 100 bits and the shout out. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. Okay, yeah, we don't need this, the fishing tackle. Well, a good tip if you don't do this already. If you use fishing tackles for repair, which you do need to do eventually because you run out of sewing kits, when they reach very low condition, like 9% or so, you put them away uh, because you can use them for fishing. Because when you fish, if the line breaks, it just breaks. And that's irrespective of the condition of the tackle. So that means you can use the tackle for fishing when it's low condition. I still have some sewing kits though, because I just kept them. Uh, else, inventory wise, we can destroy these. Uh, these we don't really need. At least not as many. This is fine. Uh, it's fine. Uh, we need to repair some things. I think this can deteriorate. That's fine. But the socks, I'm going to repair the socks. I think we're just going to make it easy and do this. And then we'll do this as well. <coughs> See here, and maybe a 90 is fine. Well, if anything, that's fine. I always carry at least one stim on me just in case. This is fine. Okay, okay we're good now. Uh, it's a blizzard out, but we could maybe go to camp office. Oh, I might repair this though. 54%. That's half the heat. That's not good. Repair. We need a cloth and a bear hide for that. Okay, let's do that. Because this is really good. It makes you really... The, the warmth you get from the from the bedroll is dependent on how well repaired it is. 
So right now it's 50%, so then I get only 3 degrees warmth, so it's the same as a regular bed wall, pretty much. But repairing it will make it better. Let's harvest these. And I think we'll make a run to uh, camp office before we sleep, because we're not that tired. <coughs> and then we'll head to Desolation Point, right across the highway. We check for the moose while we're there as well. Oh, this is really low condition course to get rid of it. There we go. Yeah, we're pretty good now, I think. Uh, let's see. I think we'll go out then. We got nine arrows. Got some sticks. You don't even need that many sticks, I guess. <laughs> the sticks. What? Yeah, sticks. good enough. Uh, Peachy Dolly, thank you so much for the Prime subscription. That's too kind. Thank you so much. Okay, I think we are good. Yes. Uh, actually, let's grab one more oops, one more of these and one more food. Well, and what we're going to do now, we're going to do something you shouldn't really do, You should, you know, which is to go out in the blizzard. But it's okay. So we're going to head to Camp Office. If I get lost, which is rare, but it does happen, I can just light a fire. Solargin with the Prime subscription. Thank you so much. And you started the boost train. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Uh, temperature is not that great. It's minus 35. <laughs> yeah, Thank you. Another, another boost train. Wow. That's crazy. Thank you so much for that. Hey, level two, because I gifted sub from Lady to Life After Dark. Nice. Thank you so much for that, Lady. I'm actually looking away at chat now and then while I'm doing this. I actually kind of lost my bearings, but I'm pretty sure I know where I am. I think I'm right near Deadfall area. I think that's in, in here. Freezing. Let's see. Yeah, this should be it. Yep. So over here... It's dead full. I believe. Yep, there it is. This is dead full area. And then we just go up here now. And we get to... Uh, uh, no, the temperature doesn't change after day 50. It's something they could have added, but the problem is if they did that, it would just, it would get ridiculous at some point. Like, you go outside and it's minus 500 degrees, and you just freeze instantly. And and if it was so that, it, it you know, it didn't affect you once you got cold, then what's the point of you in doing it? There's really no, there's really no point in doing it. This is cold enough. If you go to Bleak Inlet and you get caught in a blizzard at the coldest ti time of day and you have no clothing, it can get as cold as... I think the highest I've seen is minus 115. And that's the highest I've ever seen. So uh, that's cold enough. <clears throat> okay, a trick here that you can use if you don't know this already. It's not that hard to find a camp office, but if you are in a blizzard and you're a bit lost, and you want to find your way home, just look up. Just look at these power lines here, right? Just do the Jurassic Park strategy. Follow the cables. That's what you're going to do. And eventually the cables will wear to the right. And when that happens, you are at the camp office. 
So here we are. You can see that the power lines now go right and straight ahead by the tracks. So when you're in this position, you just follow these lines instead. So you can't really see anything, but you can see these lines. So you just do this, follow this, and you, on YouTube. And you will do this. <laughs> Thank you, Stunkbot69, <laughs> 69 bits. <laughs> Uh, and here we are, back at the camp office. So it's not that hard, you see. There we go. Ta da! Uh, how long did it take to get to level 5 sewing? That's always the worst. Yes, sewing is the, the hardest one to level. It takes the longest because you need to repair things and you might run out of things to repair. And even then, you know, it's it's a pain in the ass. So that takes the longest. It was definitely the one I leveled up last. I don't know when I did it. Probably after day 100, I think. Thank you for the 200 bits, lady. That's too kind. Thank you so much. Yeah, okay. The only thing, the, the sports socks are good for you. The sports socks, yeah, they're rubbish in all other cases. Okay, we're going to sleep here now. If you need to navigate in the dark in this one, just look for the windows and you should be able to get any way you want to go. <clears throat> Let's wait so we can sleep 10 hours. And then we should be on day 999. Okay, this should be good enough. Take one of these. And then drink this. Hey, second chat. Hey, Tine Sim or Tina Sim. I just need to close what my time eyes. Uh, I just came home, so glad I didn't miss it. Yeah, you're right on track. It's not fun. Huh? What's the benefit of level 5 solving? I never bullet to. Uh, I don't even know. Uh, it basically means you never fail. Uh, um, 100% chance of successful repair. That's really what you want. So you, uh, you never fail because it's annoying to use resources when you repair things. And that's about it. It's, doesn't really do anything else. If you're wondering how, how this happened, <laughs> it's purely by reading books. I'm not that far from level 5, just by reading books. But I need more books to get them. This one also. Yeah, pretty cool one. But uh, it's, uh, gunsmithing is level 5 though. Tina with 400 bits. Wow, thank you so much. And hi, really dead meat. Thank you. And yeah, I would, yeah. I would say no ways. And follow from Lira. And thank you for the boost train. It's really cool, this boost train. I've never seen this before. It's really cool. So that influences the recommendations on Twitter. It's really cool. Never seen that before. That's fun. Uh, let me see what it says. So it says that this uh, led to 800 recommendations. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, that's fun. Uh, it's a one hour cooldown, so that can trigger again when we're at three hours something. Okay, <coughs> let's see. Um, we're gonna sleep for 10 hours, and then we're getting close to day 1000. Very close. We're gonna head to Desolation Point now. We won't have time to go to the other areas before. Yeah, 999 coming up. Uh, let's see one of these. We can check if the moose is there, but I don't think that will have respawned already. That's a bit too soon for that. But I killed it. I don't even know. I started logging on here when I killed moose, but I don't remember when I killed it. Uh, I guess this one. Yeah, here. So. What's that? So that's 86 days ago. And this one says a thousand here, but that's because it counts it differently. So 86 days ago, 87 days ago. I don't think that's enough for the moose to respawn. I think that takes, it takes longer than that. At this level, that is. I think it's something like after you get to day... Uh, is there something like day 400 or something like that? After day 400, then the respawn timer changes and you it takes longer. It's something like that, I don't remember exactly. <coughs> uh, I spawned in Pleasant Valley. 
And I have a cairn there to celebrate my spawn location, which was also celebrated by Graffin. I'm not sure if he's in chat at the moment. Uh, but um, uh, if we have time, we can go there in this stream. It depends, though. We'll have to see. <coughs> right now, we're going to head to uh, Desolation Point, I think. We'll go via the ravine and also check for moose in Coastal Highway, in case it happens to spawn. It's not spawned once in a thousand days, but you never know. Hey, Wonder Future, uh, yes, this is the same playthrough. <clears throat> so this is 500 Days Part 2, if that makes sense. When I release a video about it, I'm just going to call it 1000 Days, but I'll put a little note in it that this is technically Part 2. I always take this way, just because it avoids more wolves. That's about it. <clears throat> Would this be your longest run? Yes, this is the longest. I only ever really had one long run, which is this one. Uh, I did have one run on Voyager that went to day 177 or something. And I have had a few interloper runs that went to day 50, but then I've stopped. Uh, because a long time I've only ever invested in one run, which is this one. I suppose uh, I've also, I guess Nogoa is also an investment run. And a lot of people have asked for a part two for my interlope made easy, so I will do a part two on that eventually. I'm not sure when exactly, but I will do it eventually. We can see if the moose is back, but I don't think it will have respawned already. That video gave me shares of music and emotion. Thank you. Hey, no worries. I'm glad you liked it. Uh, I really like that artist radical face. <coughs> um, I quite like that. That was my first sort of. That was my first big video on YouTube for the long dark, anyway. And the developers tweeted about it. That was my second video. The developers have tweeted about my videos, I think, eight times, I think. All of my tip videos and a few other ones they tweeted about. Very nice of them. <coughs> hey, uh, is it Layla? Oh, I'm not sure how you want to... Uh, excited to see the moment on file. Thank you. You have approaching 9-9. <laughs> we used Ghost Town Radical Face again. I found that song to your video and it's my favorite song. And yeah, it's a great song. But now I'm using a different song. I'm using a song by Filter. I do have some other songs by Radical Phase, which I thought about using, but I won't be using them. I'll be using them for a different video another time. Let's see if there's moose. I don't think so though. No, it's too early. It's only been, it's only been, uh, what was it, 70, I said 83, but it's 82. No, 83. It's been 83 days since I killed the moose, and that's too too short. <laughs> <coughs> Will the world loot respawn out sometime? No, it doesn't respawn at all. Uh, only certain things respawn, like coal, birch, sticks, um, branches, limbs, and animals, including fish. That's about it. Uh, but whenever they add a patch, uh, very often some new content is added to the game. So whenever there's a major patch, uh, like a content patch, like when they release a new area, like Blackrock for example, uh, then you will sometimes find some more loot around. Especially if they add a new item, like when they added ke ketchup chips to the game. Uh, then I went around the world and I found some ketchup chips around, you know, which weren't there before. That sort of thing. <coughs> When will you do face reveal? I already done a face reveal, and uh, there isn't really a face to reveal as such. I don't stream without camera because I'm hiding my face. I just do it because I find it more comfortable. 
I prefer it without camera. But anyone who wants to know what I look like, it's not hard. You can just search for me and you'll find uh, this. I've streamed a couple times. I uh, streamed, I think, three times with camera. And I also have other videos where I show my face. I just don't usually do it. I thought I had some misglute in here, I guess not. I've broken down all of, if you're wondering, there is a, uh, I have broken down all of the crates in the dam. I haven't broken down all of these, uh, these things. We'll do that another time. <clears throat> but I have broken down all the crates. And you can see some of the results of that down here. The 13 is like B, so it's like Baila. Okay. Yeah, that song felt nice because it fit the comment. Yeah, it did. The one I've chosen for 1000 is also similar, but not as fitting, I don't think. So here you can see a pile of reclaimed wood. It's a lot of reclaimed wood. Uh, if you pick it all up, it's about 220 wood, something like that. But I took about 100 of it with me back to Trappers. And some so I may, after breaking on everything in the dam, there was about about four hundred wood, something like that. Quite a lot. <coughs> Family portrait is also a really good song. Sadly, uh, I don't think it would fit. Yeah, uh, the the album Family Tree has a lot of good songs, and there's three songs that combined would make a very good long dark video, but I haven't gotten around to it. There's also a somewhat less incentive to use them because when you use them, you demonetize your channel. So, for example, my 500 days video, I don't get any kind of revenue from that because it's not it's copyrighted. So that's an unfortunate thing as well. But sometimes I ignore that and I say, you know what, it doesn't make a difference. The song is perfect. I want to use it. Let's just use it regardless how that happens. <clears throat> There's another bowl. I need to return this. We're going to put it here. Okay, we're going to wait to warm up and then we'll go. Uh, do you have anything you think should be added to the game? I'll answer that in a second. Imagine stepping on that without shoes. <laughs> What's the hardest challenge in your opinion? Can we see this floor pan around? What floor? This floor? <coughs> um, let's do it in reverse. Uh, no. the, what should be added to the game? Uh, there's a lot of things that could be added to the game. Um, but none of it is essential. Like, for example, I would like to see certain features added, but there's nothing that really must be added. What I think should be added is I think they should add the firmers so you can have put something like the equivalent of maybe two hot teas in a firmers and it stays warm for like six hours or something. I think that would be a cool feature that wouldn't impact the game too much. It would just allow you to travel a little bit easier and I think that will be fine. I don't see why you wouldn't have that. I think they could add more animals, especially smaller ones like uh, squirrel or uh, or ducks or beavers or something. Something that allows you to uh, maybe craft socks, but at the very least, uh, I think you should be able to create makeshift socks. You know, like you can make um, you can make these improvised hand wraps. I think you should be able to make improvised socks. I don't see why you can't do that. I also think they should. Uh, it should be possible to create these slots. And maybe I'm not sure about these. Yeah, wool maybe from these. You use these wool to make these. So, so there's something that they could add to the game. The firmus is the biggest one, I think. Some people have asked for a spyglass, like binoculars, which would be cool. But I don't really see the point of it unless it works properly so you can see things in the distance uh, some people want skis or a sledge a sled sorry I don't see the point of that either I don't really see the necessity of that um, although it would be handy if you could pick up a carcass if you kill a deer it would be cool if you can carry that deer just like you carry survivors in episode 3 to move it closer to uh, your base, for example. But you shouldn't be able to carry a bear or, you know, moose or something. That's way too much. <coughs> Stuff like that. But none of this... None of this is necessary. 
But it would be cool, I guess. Polar bears. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't be that opposed to a special animal just for the fun of it. Like a polar bear. And you can say, well, polar bears shouldn't be here. No, they shouldn't, but it's a geomagnetic storm, so who cares? Just make some excuse. So you could have one polar bear, and let's say it spawns in a random location somewhere in the world every hundred days. And it needs like it has like triple the hit points of a bear. So even if you get a critical hit in the head, you need to hit him like three times in the head or something, you know. Uh, that would be kind of fun. It would make it a kind of like a white whale thing, something you either ignore or you go for it. A big bit like a white whale or or a legendary ship or something like that. So that would be kind of fun, but again, not necessary. Badgers, Wolverines, yeah. <coughs> Uh, hold on, let me sing some stuff here. Uh, you microwave during Aurora taste. Yes, that I've seen. That's a good idea. That microwave should work during Aurora. That's a good idea. Snow Fox. Yeah, that's a good idea too. Badges. Small DIY fire starting kits. Yeah, maybe. Improvised socks should be added. Yep, I think it should. What is this? Okay, I can give a better tour lady another day. I think you'll be able to show the total amounts of things you pick up, something like st Yes, that would be cool. Statistics on picked up items. I agree with that. I can see carrying a wolf, but not a deer or a bear. It can be done. There is some other that does. I can see someone carrying a deer. People do that in real life all the time. But in uh, a moose or a bear, no. A rocket launch. <laughs> Polar bear explodes on that. Uh, more aurora functionality. That would be cool. Legendary animals to go around regions and leave marks. Oh, that's a cool idea, yeah. Episode 4 is a ghost star. Yeah, it does. Uh, by the way, here, if you didn't know, there's like a little hidden area here. I thought about including it in the video, but I didn't. It's not really hidden. It's just that it's very easy to miss. <clears throat> but when you go here uh, along these tracks here, the tracks continue up here. Most people don't go here. Most people go this way, like along here. And then they go up here, which is fine. But there is a little area over here, in there. So you come along these tracks here, here on the bridge. And in here, there's a little area. Oh, yeah. You can tell there's an area because of the crows. And then you go inside, and you'll find a corpse here. That's really been here before, as you can see. There's some rose hips, which I haven't harvested. There's a backpack, there's a corpse. And I think this is actually a burnt out torch here. Feathers. The feather. There's not a lot, but it's something, and people seem to often. I, I almost never see anyone go in here. Not really a big spot, but. Yeah. <coughs> uh, yeeting things off cliffs. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny. Uh, are you planning to make a model, model survivor file? Uh, maybe one day I'll do that, yes. And like coming with the option to check mark the cattails to eat. Yeah, that would be cool. You can do that with a mod now. Santana made a mod, uh, I think a few days ago, where you can stack cattails and then you can eat them in one go. Uh, I've been mainly through Milton to Pleasant Valley. Any suggestions where to go next? Sorry, I have a lot of chat. Uh, uh, you've been to Milton Pleasant Valley. Go to Tim Wolf Mountain. Go to the summit. Get a lot of loot there. A deer is heavy, even for two people. That's true. That one, that it it is heavy. So. Insecure walls, good bunny spot. I've been there. Four messages were deleted. So I guess it was sort of some sort of spam. Uh, yeah, you can post. Sorry, you can post uh, links, uh, Mira. Uh, you just have to uh, let me know in advance. And I can give you permission like this. Uh, see Mira. I think it lasts for 60 seconds or something like that. So if you post the link now, it's okay. I think only uh, uh, mods and VIPs can post links. I don't know. <coughs> but if you post it now, it should work. Or oh, was it you want whatever you wanted to post? They should have a pickaxe with time, you know. So here we have the birch forest. It is possible to just live here in the birch forest by itself because there's so much birch around. I haven't seen any at the moment, but um, you can live here. 
and you can survive with Birch or you can survive with just the dead. So anyway, let's see if we have crossed the line. We have not. I think I must have spawned just afternoon then. And then here is the ravine. If you uh, ever come here, you should go down here, especially if you play interloper, because down the ravine here is one of the guaranteed stims and the other flare gun. So down here is a good place to go. You should always go here. I can show you. Uh, don't fall down here. <laughs> Let's see, down here, down there, is a, uh, here, down there is a flare gun and also a stim. So if you're playing an interloper especially, wow, look at that. Oh. Oh, wow. It looks like you can actually place a fire there. Anyway, <coughs> you should definitely go there. On lower difficulties, it's not as important. Um, God damn freezing. Permission last. Yeah, okay, 100. Okay, thank you. I think slings will be cool, like stones for ammunition. You can kill bunnies easier. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, you could do that. <coughs> I don't need to pick up feathers. I have over 200 of them. But I like to have a few on me just in case I have to make an arrow on the spot. Let's go and warm up in this cave over here. I do like these danger free areas. Nice to replace the wolves aren't constantly howling. That's true. <laughs> Skiing goggles. That's not that's a cool idea. Yeah, I think uh, this is the only area in the game that has no wolves or bears, I think. Crumbling Eye Highway has wolves. I think Keepers Pass. I think they both have wolves. Uh, yeah, I think. I think this is the only area in the game that has no wolves. So you can survive here for, for free, so to speak. Let's warm up so we don't die. This should take us to day 999 as well. Yep. So now we are at day 999. There we go. <coughs> What should I always have on me an interloper? I can answer that instead. They should add events that last like five days. <laughs> That'd be cool. True, but why would there be skiing goggles? Well, I mean, there's snow everywhere. They could have skiing goggles in this world. By the way, Mero, if you want to post a link again, just let me know and I'll give you the permission thing. It's no worries. Uh, like water takes 50 longer to go. <laughs> yeah, Crumbling Water Highway has uh, two wolves, sometimes four, but usually just two. Started my long term journey stalker. 500 days, started in Mountain Town, traveling the maps, starts deal with story mode, then going from there. Perfect, Mike. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, I can answer that while we're here. So, pretty much you should carry whatever I'm carrying now. So, obviously, you have matches, you know, or some sort of that. That's a given. <clears throat> you should always carry coal if you have it. You don't need to carry as much as I do. You should always carry, in my opinion, at least two. The reason you should have two is because if you get caught in a situation where you have to heat up very quickly, like you get stuck in a blizzard, then having two coal is pretty much guaranteed to warm you up. It's possible that the wind will change and you can't wait it out, but it should heat you up all the way and give you a break. <coughs> so if you have coal, carry it. You should always carry at least one stim, always at least one. You should always carry all the necessities for if you get attacked. Of course, you don't want to get attacked, but if you do, you need to be prepared for that. So you should always have at least two of these or the, the antiseptic, and you should have bandages. I carry four, but you should have at least two. Four is better because I need useful sprains too. Uh, you can carry painkillers and antibiotics or the equivalent, but they're not that necessary because they are not used for crucial things although in the early game in the early game i always carry antibiotic or reishi tea on me because if i were to suddenly get food poisoning i want to use it right away in order to um <clears throat> to make sure that i survive but in late game i don't do it anymore 
and then you want to have food and water obviously i also always carry cattails on me i always have 12 cattails the reason i have 12 is because if i ended up in a pinch and i had no more food then if i use the starvation tactic then the cattails will provide me with food for two days i'm going to starve myself eat six of them go to sleep and the next day i can do the same and it gives me two days two days of flexibility of traveling somewhere and that should be enough to find some more food uh, you should also carry obviously the bedroll and that you, sh you should carry tools i carry the hacksaw you don't really need to but i do it because it's my preferred way of cutting meat i carry the hatchet for protection that's pretty much what i use it for and the knife is not strictly necessary but it's handy because it's the fastest way to harvest meat and sometimes you need it for crafting so i always carry one pry bar is not necessary at this stage in the game because it's mostly used for opening things and breaking the ice, but I still carry one now and then. And you should always carry a storm lantern, in my opinion, because the storm lantern will give you light and you don't have to use matches to do it. <clears throat> I also always carry one piece of cloth on me as a backup cloth in case I suddenly need to repair something or make a bandage or something like that. So what I always carry on Interloper then, shortly said, is in addition to the obvious stuff, Always carry a little bit of coal, a stim, bandage, uh, antiseptic, maybe antibiotics, extra cattails, uh, hatchet, knife, and storm lantern, and one extra cloth, and that's it. <coughs> uh, events like some big blizzard with last few days, so after a lot of animals, limbs, and stuff respawn. Yeah, that'd be interesting to see. Uh, late game, you can run out of cloth bandages. How do you stop bleeding? you're dead if that happens yeah if you run out of cloth completely and you get a bleed uh you're just dead i guess in theory there should be a mechanic that lets you coagulate and actually over time but there isn't so you're dead but there is so much cloth in the game that it probably wouldn't happen and even if it did happen you can find cloth via beachcombing so you probably would find um you would find cloth then but if that happened in a pinch if i was absolutely stuck i had to have a bandage i would destroy the socks i would take the socks or something else harvest it you know and that's it bad mic <laughs> but uh, can you hear me weird or something <laughs> sorry if i lagged out or something uh, is improvised knife better than hunter knife? No, it, uh, hunter knife is better because it's lighter. What are you wearing? Uh, wait, wasn't there a question that just came up? Uh, yes, I use Swedish. I feel like my Norwegian is picking up some Scandi vibes. No, I'm not Swedish. I am Norwegian. Hey, ho, Annex. Hey, Annorsk. Uh, good evening. Hey, Osman, speaking of Norway, has another Norwegian. <laughs> hey, Zach, are you waiting for Winter Me episode 5? Yeah, I guess. I'm not too bothered about the story. I don't think the story mode is that great, but uh, I know a lot of people love it, so yeah, it'd be fun to see where it goes. <clears throat> um, let's see. Hi, Zach. Hi, PSR21. Nice to see you. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see if this. And let's have a drink. Okay, I think I caught up on chat now. So let's head to Desolation Point. I'm not even sure if we can make it to Desolation Point before day 1000. But it doesn't make a difference. Because we're going to do the celebration there after we reach day 1000 anyway. So it doesn't make a difference. With a hunting knife, I have to spawn an interloper. And no, it doesn't. There's several things that don't spawn an interloper. Hatchet doesn't spawn, and hunting knife doesn't spawn either, so you have to make them. Uh, the guns don't spawn. There have been reports of people finding a revolver, but that was a bug. Uh, but the revolver and the rifle also doesn't spawn. Uh, some of the clothing items don't spawn. For example, you don't get ski, uh, sorry, snow pants. You don't get a uh, fisherman sweater or the cowardian sweater. You don't get Expedition Parker. You don't get the Balaclava. Uh, you don't get MRE and some other things. 
By the way, if you ever want to go to Ravine, but not use the rope, that's down here. Go this way. Clear here, down there, that's the Ravine, right there. Uh, it doesn't actually show. But there, that's the, that's the cave right there. If you try to go down to Ravine, you will just die, because I have put death walls. But if you go this way and hug the wall, all the way to the edge, and you go down, you'll be alright. But if you're in for the long-term survival, uh, don't do it, because maybe they patch it, you know, they, they patch things like that sometimes, and you don't want to go there and just die. But if you're doing a new run, or if you're doing a speed run or something, then maybe you can do it. <coughs> Do you see where uh, Twitter post a week ago when he said he had 53 uh, something? I missed that chat, sorry. 53 page of notes, yeah, I, I read that. I wrote, I replied to him and he said that he thought that I would like it. <laughs> it is funny. Uh, happy to catch a long dog stream with the professor. Long hey, thank you, Innocent Dingon. Thank you so much for that. Take the coal with you if you don't took it. Oh, shit, you're right. I didn't take it with me. No, I left it. Oh, well, that can be coal for when I come back to that cave. I forgot to pick it up. Whoops. Uh, but yeah, that can be for when I come back. It doesn't matter. Uh, I've always avoided eating food in the red rune zone. Are you immune to food? Yes, you are at level 5, yes. I'm going to celebrate my day 100 in low summit solo on the summit. <laughs> That's a great idea. But food doesn't spawn an interloper. Can you press tab for a second? Sure. Uh, no way. I level 5 didn't realize that was a thing. Yeah, when you're level 5, you're immune to food poisoning and parasites and everything. Wait. Uh, okay, waiting for Riley to get bored and choose to a random band review. <laughs> uh, yeah, whoops, sorry. Yeah, sometimes uh, when you uh, accidentally post a link. Yeah. Don't worry, though. If anyone wants to post a link, just to. Let me know and I'll give you permission. It's just uh, an automatic thing. I hope I have caught up with chat now. Uh, all the good food, yeah, so what doesn't spawn on interval food wise? Uh, MRE doesn't spawn. Uh, peanut butter doesn't spawn. I don't think condensed milk spawns either. Uh, the gold drink doesn't spawn. It's not really food, but. Uh, the different soda cans don't spawn, only the green one spawns, the summit soda, the other two don't spawn, which is weird, they, they are the same, but... Uh, I think the sap energy bar doesn't spawn, but I'm not sure about that. Um, I think that's it, am I missing anything? Do you plan to post this on YouTube at some point? Sap, yeah, okay, so, yeah. Yeah, none of the good stuff spawns, basically. Except for salty crackers. Okay, let's not die here. First time I crossed it, I was... I hated it. I actually hate going this way. If you're gonna be safe, you do it this way, but... On my regular runs, I just wing it, but on this one, I'm very careful. Yeah, day 99 for sack falls are very low. If that happened, I would probably do this and quit. <laughs> that would be the one time I break my own rule, I think. <laughs> or maybe I wouldn't. Maybe I would just say, like, oh well. C'est la vie, 999. Condensed meals replaced with soup. Uh, I don't think we get. Oh, you mean tomato soup? Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for following uh, Clemalo. Don't blame it. <laughs> Ciao. Hey, nice to see you. I always just sprint okay with that broken. Yeah, I do it on my other runs, but not this one. Yeah, I don't do the this one, like quit, or the alt F4. I don't do that. Um, but it's fine if you do. There's nothing wrong with you doing that, of course. Uh, except I do it sometimes on custom challenges, where I'm doing something specific for a specific challenge. And then I can't be able to start again, then I do it. But on like a real survivor run, so to speak, and I don't do it. It's foggy. We're going to head down to the fishing huts, which is where our coastal highway base is. And then we'll check for the moose probably in the morning, I think. we got to be a little bit careful here because there's a uh, wolf in this area. Snoop down eight line toy. The ability to use on the boats in coastal highways is allowed. Yeah, that'd be fun. <laughs> the 
should add different soups. Yeah, that would be an idea. Finally, right, you quit and reload. I found the game picked something out of your inventory. Really? I've never seen that. Uh, but they can take things out of the loot though. If you enter a house and then loot everything in the house, but then you exit the game and go back in, some of the loot may not be in that house. Well, the rest of it will be there. And it seems like maybe 80% of the loot is fixed and then the other 20% or 10% is like random, which is weird. Raishi moose soup, yeah. <laughs> How many hours you played this game? I don't know exactly. 1,400, 1,500. Let's just say 1.5 to make it easy. I only do that if I feel really unfairly treated. Yeah, I agree. Uh, if I got stuck and could not get out, then I would do it, I suppose. If that happened, I would I would do it. <coughs> or I would email developers. Let's see if I can find the base. Here actually is that's a funny thing that happened. I think it is here. Uh, maybe it's not here. But the other day I was around this area and I found a corpse laying on the hills somewhere here. I can't remember exactly where it was. I found a corpse and uh, I hadn't looted it. Hmm. And I hadn't looted... Um, Sounds like a bear is around. I don't know. I think he might be over here. Yeah, so there was a corpse that I missed completely. Uh, after 930 days, I had, there was one, uh, one uh, corpse I completely missed. I think he's down there in his den. Yeah. I'll, I'll catch up and chat in a minute because this, uh, there's usually a bear and wolves around here and uh, I'm going to walk into it. Yeah, let's just get out of here first. Oh shit, did I go in circles? Yeah, I did. I did go in circles. That's okay though, I know where I am. We are down here by the rabbit pond. Yeah, <sighs> we're going this way. No, it's okay. <laughs> Let's see. Um, oh, that's a lot of stuff. I think they should add some replacements for the whetstone. Oh, that's an interesting idea, yeah. I had 14 cattle, almost got stunned, quit and reload, and cattle are gone. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. So I'm reading chat so quickly, it's just a lot, of, lot to catch up on. When I, I, I used to stream, I used to have like 20 viewers. Now I have 120, so it's a bit harder to catch up on things. Uh, Let's see. Uh, good morning from New Zealand. Thank you, Dennis or Denny Sims. Ah, the Sim and then New Zealand, I see. New Zealand accent is great. Welcome to the stream. There's a thing in Bleak Inlet Black, I don't remember how it's called. Tim Wolves, I have to go. Congratulations. Thank you, Richard, so much. Don't worry that you have to go. Oh, there was a donation to Sorry, I'm really behind there. Uh, there's always something to find. Thousand bits from Richon. Thank you so much for that. That's too kind of you. Thank you so much. You can use it during a roll and repair tools with one scrap hunter for free. Oh, you're talking about the milling machine. Yeah, that's great. You should have face cam up for your thousand days of reaction. Yeah, I could, but uh, <laughs> here's my coastal highway base. So this is my main base in coastal highway. I would say no ways. And there's some fish cool. and food and what have you here. I think we'll take a fish inside. What are we doing? Yeah, that's alright. I'll go in here. We catch on the rest of the chat. Um, yeah, because I'm a bit. Oops, sorry. I'm a bit uh, behind here. Milling machine as they tickle the bit. <laughs> the guy asked about a wetstone to play them on the same. That's, oh, I understand. Yeah, yeah. That does exist in the milling machine. That's correct. I think the milling machine is only in Bleak Inlet, though. It's not in Blackrock, even though they have a, uh, a workshop there. I don't think there is a milling machine there. You can only make ammo there. Uh, man, I made it into stream about an hour or so ago and I was hoping to catch this up over to House Nades live. I gotta go. Oh, no worries, Peach uh, Peach Shelly. Thank you so much uh, for being here anyway. Thank you so much. Ammunition is Yeah, that's it. Uh, great, that comments for your mom. Thank you so much. 
<laughs> Wayne. <laughs> Did you post the link again? Uh, just, just let me know if you want to post the link, and I'll, I'll give you permission. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're back. So that was a lot to catch up on. So let's eat some ruined fish and the moose. <coughs> Okay, so this is my base in Coastal Highway. Oh, there is a milling machine. Okay. A milling machine is a machine that repairs your tools. You can only find one in Bleak Inlet and apparently in Blackrock. I've only been there once in Blackrock, so I, I'm probably wrong. But there we have a few saplings and so on. We have some, a few hides and some coal, apparently. And these ones have cloth. A lot of cloth. So we're not going to run out of that anytime soon. Oh boy, that is a lot of cloth. Um, 12 matches that's here. Let's put that in our thingy, 12. So you can kind of see how many matches we still have. There's a few things missing, but so you have 84 there, and then for so 88, 92, 96, 100, 112, 124. And then we have to check in Riken as well. And I forgot to check uh, here. I think I think there's four here. So 124, there's probably about 130 matches left then. That's pretty good, yeah. I think we will sleep here and go out in the morning. <coughs> I just, I don't expect, oh, I see. Yeah, that's a bit stupid, isn't it, that it works like that. Let's just sleep here for 10 hours. Where can you find the ammunition table? The ammunition table is inside the workshop in Bleak Inlet. And inside the, uh, I think it's called the workshop too, in the Black Lock prison. To get inside the workshop in Bleak Inlet, you need to go to the radio tower first and get the code, and then you go there. I need some and water. And then uh, uh, for the cannery, sorry, it's for the prison, you need to go to the mine first and then get the code and then go to the workshop. You have to go during the aurora. And in there you can make ammunition, which is point as an interloper, but it also has a milling machine that lets you repair things like your hacksaw and hatchet and things like that. Yeah, it's happening. May I post a link to the TLD? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have any mods there at the moment, so I have to do it myself. So if anyone here would like to be a mod, you're welcome to, because I don't stream very often, and therefore the mods I have often don't, um, they aren't always on. Uh, as long as I kind kind of know who you are, you, know, you can be a mod, you know, it's fine. <coughs> uh, 1k is almost happening um, uh, it should be around noon yeah but well, we're gonna leave now yeah yeah like uh, maybe seven in-game hours from now or something like that we're gonna leave now though because the night is clear enough 2100 from this fish <laughs> <laughs> I want to check quickly to see if there's a moose. I often don't check because we don't really need to. But I'm going to check anyway. Uh, I often don't go to the Quonset garage because there's nothing really for me there. It's not my base. I use the fishing huts for a base instead. It's a bit safer. It's closer to a fishing hut. That, the reason I like this base instead of the garage is because it's right next to a fishing hut. It has an outdoor workbench I can use so I don't get cabin fever and there is not really any threat there is a bear and the bear can wander into the camp it does happen I have had to kill the bear in the camp a couple of times but that happens in garage too and there's some wolves but they don't usually come this far but if they do then who cares you know I just prefer it <coughs> uh, okay. oh yeah you can be mod if you like us one like you you're here all the time and lady, okay, yeah, lady also, you're all the time, so I trust you too. And uh, I'll be a mod for you. Mike also, yeah. Um, is this Coastal Highway? I would like to be a mod side, I'm pretty busy with school and times and such, so probably not going to be able to. We should go to Bleak Inlet and play with Tim Wolf since we're so close. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Graffin, remember what I did last time? <laughs> last time when I was on day 499, I'm like, yeah, let's go out and kill three wolves. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't really it worked out. Okay, let me fix this right away. I might as well do it now. Uh, Osmon, did that work? I think it. I think it worked. Uh, and 
I think it's just like this, isn't it? Mont. Uh, maybe. Oh yeah. So, uh, uh, Lady Osamon and Mike, uh, you are now mods. Uh, so that means you can uh, you can give shout outs to people uh, when they are in chat, which you can do freely. You don't need to ask me for permission or anything. Just do it. Uh, and uh, you can kick people. <laughs> you can give permission for links if you want to post that or whatever you want. And uh, Pasik, thank you for offering, but I think I have three people. That's good enough for now. But if I need more, uh, I'll let you know. So, yeah. so now, yeah, yeah Twitch police is... <laughs> <laughs> I had a fun encounter against camp. <laughs> I was just traveling what? camp in a cabin for sleep, and I came out and camp. There was like five meters away. <laughs> hey, De Dennis, thank you so much for the the subscription. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. If it's Dennis or Denis, and then see, I don't know what. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mike is streaming again. Uh, Graffin, he's uh, he's great. I've tuned into his stream a few times, and it's really, really, really fun. Uh, classic Mike. <clears throat> I hope he goes affiliate because uh, he's got the best emotes for that. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> no worries. <coughs> I don't worry if you if you abuse the power, just get rid of the mods. <laughs> I think I have seven mods, but some of them are. Uh, I mean, now I have, but they're often not here. Uh, creamy is usually not here. Slick is usually here, but not always. Uh, Elensha is not, but she sometimes is here, sometimes not. Creamy, I haven't seen in a long time. I think I'm gonna warm up in here, actually. So having some more mods is helpful, because then I don't have to do all the shout-outs and stuff. It makes it a bit easier, so thank you for that. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's do a sleep. One hour sleep. And yeah, if you see anyone in chat uh, and you want to shout them out, just do that. It's just exclamation point SO and then the name and then just do that. Or if I say, uh, oh, please give a shout out, just that. that's pretty much it. There's not much else to it. Okay, I'm going to go this way. So over here, if you didn't know, is the Aurora Cave. It's over here on the left, up there, in there. I have never been inside on this run. Hello. That's fine. Uh, because every time I am here in this region, I haven't been in this region a lot. I've only been in Coastal Highway 45 days. Uh, so every time I am here, uh, I forget, it's, oh yeah, the Aurora Cave, we need to go in there. And then I look at it, it's like, oh well, I'm on day 480, or I'm on day 920, and I figured, nah, let's not go in there. Because it's such a death trap, like people die in there all the time, because they take too long, and then they die, or whatever. So I don't think that's going to happen to me on this run, but you never know. So I'm, I'm going to go in there after day 1000. And I want to prepare for it in case I do get unlucky and get stuck there. So yeah, that's the idea anyway. <coughs> it's very, very dangerous. Yeah. Um, yeah, it will be yeah eight hours sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Wizards. Thank you for being here. We're very, very close now. Nine, nine, nine. Uh, still, uh, why not? <laughs> yeah, Mira, uh, Mira uh, thank you so much for being here, but don't feel the need to stay at your expense, you know? Like, if you have something you need to do, or you have something important tomorrow, like exam, you know, don't feel like you have to stay here. Yeah, there's more important things than me or this, you know? <clears throat> I won't be offended if you leave. This, that goes without saying. Was in the Aurora Cave, um, some miscellaneous loot, food, and so on, yeah. Oh, Wizard is playing. I don't think I, I am following Wizard, actually. Let me just quickly rectify that, if that is the case. Uh, oh, I saw you, actually, the other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wasn't following you, but I saw you stream the other day. I just didn't go up by and say hi, but now I gave you a follow. There we go. And also, because chat is so active, I don't usually have 
well, I'm not used to having this many viewers. I used to have less. So if I miss something, feel free to either... Let's get this train started. <laughs> yeah, it's close. Uh, feel free to either repeat the question with a highlighted message or ask my mods uh, to let me know. Thank you so much. Yeah, the, there won't be a hype train though, because the hype train is on cooldown. The hype train is available again in 20 minutes, I think. I can actually find... Not that that makes a difference though. Uh, okay, 13 minutes it says. Okay. Got cycles. Yeah. <laughs> I, I now and then I go. Let me just see if there's a moose. Yeah. I need doesn't, to find doesn't some seem to like it. This no. cold. Uh, every now and then I go on Twitch. You know, a couple times a month or so. I go on Twitch and then I scroll down to see who's on, and then I see if it's someone new who I haven't seen before, and they are streaming in English and survival mode. If it's someone new and they're playing story mode, I usually don't go in and say hi. Because it's usually people who are trying out the game. and But if it's survival, I go and check it out. And then if I uh, uh, get chatting, I usually give them a follow. So I do that now and then. But there are sometimes I see people online. Like, oh, I should check them out. But then I get roped into something and I don't do it. You know, So, so that happened to you. <coughs> yeah, that's how the community grows. By checking out new players and promoting them. So feel free to fully promote. Uh, that goes for everyone, but only mods and me can actually do the shoutouts. So um, uh, you have to, they, we have to do it. <coughs> it's a mine carry. There's a lift that only works during the roar, but once you get down, if the roar stops, you're trapped until the next roar, which could be terrible. Late. That's exactly right. So uh, what Fiat said is correct. Like <coughs> there's a cave there. It's basically uh, if you go here on the map, you have this cave, the abandoned mine that goes to um, Pleasant Valley and there are, that, there's an, an extra level in there and that level is here but there's a lift in there you can go in there but <coughs> uh, but um, when you go in uh, the lift will only work when the Aurora is on the problem is that when you go down there uh, there's a problem <laughs> map last updated 621 days <laughs> When you go down there in the lift, there's two things. One is that when you go down, there's a bunch of red spaghetti. It's electrified everywhere. So if you touch the wires, uh, you could die. So you, it's a very a big run killer to go there during the Aurora. The other thing is, as Fiat mentioned, if you go there and then the Aurora ends while you're down there, you are stuck. You cannot get back up and you have to wait. And there could be an Aurora the next night but it could also be an Aurora in two weeks. So you need to have the food and resources to be able to stay alive until the Aurora kicks in. Uh, and a lot of people die doing that, so it's it's not a good good place to be. Was it, uh, who was it? Um, was it Conky who had that as a base <laughs> in his bases tournament? <laughs> That's crazy. Um. Uh, imagine getting followed from Sack during the first ever stream. Yeah, that has happened. It has been a few times, maybe maybe two times or three, that I've gone to someone that had uh, something like anywhere between one and ten followers, and it's their first or second stream, and then I get chat and I say thank you. And usually they don't know who I am. Uh, sometimes they do, but usually they don't. Um, yeah. Uh, when I play Green Hell on YouTube, I will make a Green Hell part two. A lot of people have asked about that, but mm, we could kill him, but there's no point. We don't really need anything from the bear, so we're gonna leave him. We will kill, however, the Desolation Point bear if it's in our way, because we're approaching day 1000 now. Um, yeah, Conky did that, yeah. There was a streamer doing the Dark Walker challenge and she accidentally went into Aurora Mount Cave instead of seeing us mine and the Dark Walker almost... Oh, wow, that's bad, yeah. Yeah, I will do the another Green Hell uh, video one day. A lot of people have asked about it. Uh, I'm waiting to do it because I want to do some other things and I really wanted to get this Day 1000 run out of the way because the video for it that I've worked on for months and it's always like one of these things looming. I don't always play on this this run, so um, 
it's something I wanted to prioritize. But I will eventually do another Green Hell video. It also I'm also kind of waiting to see how popular it is, if people want to see that sort of thing. Uh, it, if it gets to like 10,000 views, I will definitely do it. But I think at this point, a lot of people have asked about it, so I will do a part two. Uh, I don't know when though, maybe in April, I I'm not sure, but I will do one. <coughs> Imagine if that get one thing that usually doesn't spawn an intel, but like a cool sweater or revolver, that would be a fun thing. That would be a good idea, that's right. And you need to know how to ki skip cabin fever, that's true, you do need to know how to do that. Watch my videos for tips, that will explain how to do that. <laughs> hey Aussieman95, how are you doing? Thank you for coming in. Kill time by shredding clothes, that's exactly right. Uh, Hug a bear, no revolver, very close. Yeah. It's me, uh, Oseas. Oh, from uh, Facebook group and the freezing man that you follow <laughs> me. Ah, oh, well, that's you, okay. And nice to see you. Yeah, I have, uh, I, I follow you on YouTube. I, I have watched some of your videos, but uh, not uh, completely. Um, because I I watched one of them when I was in bed and I I, I fell asleep to it not because your video was boring but because I was done. Uh, feel free if you want. Uh, uh, actually, let's do it like this. Uh, uh, I'll just do it. Let's see. Uh, Aussie. Uh, is it Auss Aussie man. Okay, so commit uh, Aussie. Uh, you can post a link to your uh, YouTube if you like, and then uh, you can promote that. If anyone else would like to see Nogoa, you can check out Aussie Man uh, or Freezing Man on, on YouTube. He also does a Nogoa series. So that's uh, something to look out for. Let me just check out, I'm missing some chatter. Uh, how far off they? I'm about I'm a few hours off, a few in game hours, like uh, three hours or something. Uh, that was the best tips. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I fell asleep in sex with all the time. Yeah, yeah, that's that's fine. Let's don't worry about that. I fall asleep to videos all the time. Uh, not YouTube. Thank you for the auto promote. But uh, oh wow, thank you. Uh, let me link it right now. Yeah, do that. And acidic virus is another great streamer. Uh, by the way, here in this area, I learned something the other day. Is the bear around? No. I have. Oh yeah, this is the bear I killed. That's that's right. We don't really need any of this stuff, do we? Oh, I guess we could take one. Right. Uh, there you go. That's the link uh, to Aussie Man. Uh, he also does no goa. So if someone wants to see another no goa series while I'm my mine is on hiatus, go check out Aussie Man and he does his own no goa series. Uh, you asked, by the way, for feedback on that, and I forgot to do that. I'm sorry, but if, to me it looked very good. You're good at narrating and playing the game, and it's fun to watch. Uh, your mic is also good, although it does sound like you're in like a big room. There's like kind of like a reverb or something, uh, but it doesn't bother me. It's fine. And my mic isn't the best either. So. Uh, anyway, what I was going to say was... Uh, I learned something the other day. I didn't know this, but uh, an Aurora Wolf can survive a headshot. I found out the hard way. I have footage of it. I was over here and then an Aurora Bear and an Aurora Wolf came at me at the same time and I killed both. But the Aurora Wolf, I shot him in the face and he survived and he attacked me. And then I went after him to get my arrow back and there he was with an arrow right in his forehead and he, he I don't warm up survived it. I mean, it could have been a bug because it was a one-time case, but uh, it could be, but it was weird. I haven't killed that many Aurora in my life because I don't usually go out during Aurora, it's too dangerous. So I don't know, but yeah, it was weird. Uh, hold on, let me just see some more check here. <coughs> uh, yeah, promoting, that's good. I love following Steve Sykes' video. Happy he's not my professor. I fall asleep in classes. Well, that happens to my students, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next, go 10,000 days. Not possible. Yeah, it is possible, but yeah, we'll see. That here. Uh, Mike is a webcam, and I think it dropped uh, or something, and now it's kind of busted. Yeah, that's fine. But it's fine. Your, your audio is fine. 
I know at least 100, uh, 11,000 they run, it's doable, can't do it myself. Yeah, that's right. There is one streamer, I believe it is Lem H, it's a Korean streamer. He has a run that's like 11,000 or something. Uh, I don't watch him because he does a hibernation tactic. So what he does is he will like kill a bear and then he will go in a cave and he'll just stand like this and pass time and he'll do this repeat, repeat, repeat until, you know, 50 days go by or whatever and then the bear spawns and he kills the bear again and he does that sort of thing. So he does a massive hibernation and of course there's nothing wrong with that. I do it sometimes and if you have the resource to do it, I'm sure you can just do that. Uh, so it is possible to do it. It takes much, much longer if you don't do that, if you go around and play the game, so to speak, like I'm doing now. Uh, but that is possible, so he did He did that. I think it's a he, anyway. Um, but I don't watch... I follow him, but I don't watch him, because I don't find it particularly entertaining. Uh, whenever I tune in, he's usually passing time. <laughs> Uh, but uh, but he's a very good player though. Oh, what's this? A book I missed. Oh, it's not going to do any good now. So let's warm up here a little bit and I can catch up and chat. So we are approaching day 1000. It's probably two or three hours. Let's see if we can make it to the celebration area and then I'll do that. Let me see. Uh, uh, let me see if I missed anything else. Uh, there was a YouTube that had a 15 year run, Rational Bassist, yeah. Uh, yeah, Rational Bassist had a 15 year run going. I think he made it to 11 or 12 years. But of course, that is not as long as it sounds like because, uh, for example, now I'm on day 1000, which is two and a half years. So if you, uh, I guess it's like 6,000 something days. So yeah, that's still pretty good though. But he, he is the most famous of the long runners, but he doesn't have the record. I think he's the second or third longest, yeah, I think. Not that it makes a difference. But how can we do this? <laughs> uh, I think I have Larry or Barry in my K right now in the FM League. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's Larry. Barry is the regular bunny. Larry is the special bunny. I love how usually for me, five days is like five minutes or so. Here it's three hours. It depends. Cooldown hype. Has a cooldown and hype train ready. Oh, how nice. Uh, just <laughs> Mira, that's funny. Can you do a video about achievements like Bookmaster? Uh, maybe. Uh, maybe I can do it one day. Sure. You killed him. Okay. Well, then you have to sign it for me. You have to let me know if he ever comes back. I'm just warming up real time here so I can check chat while we're waiting. Um... How are we doing with time? I think it's about two or maybe three in-game hours, and then we are at day 1,000. So we'll see. <clears throat> What's my favorite challenge? Um, uh, it's hard to choose. I would say probably Hopeless Rescue. I think. But Dark Walker is pretty fun. I like Dark Walker. Although once you figure out how it works, it's not that difficult. Although it is pretty scary at times. Uh, I'll definitely stream that one day. Um, I like Acid at Sleep. I'm going to try and beat my record on that. Uh... Yeah, I guess. I guess Hopeless Rescue is my favorite, I guess. Yeah. But Dark Walk was really fun. I did like it. How do you beat Dark Walk? You just have to go from campfire to campfire, loot stuff, sleep, put down a ward or lure, and just keep going, and that's it. Once you die, when someone starts off an ash, oh, that's a good idea. Why not do it the hardest way possible, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are warm, so let's keep going. Hey, Nasty Santa, thank you. Five gifted subs, that's crazy. Thank you so much for that. That's insane. 
Thank you so much. Wow. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, thank you, Stuna. Yeah, I have a new Overwatch video coming out soon, possibly, with me and my wife. We'll see if we release it or not. Hey, five so congrats to Miles, Miss Ivory, Silly, Fiat, there you go, Fiat, <laughs> and Slowborn. Uh, that voice, by the way, of the haha -ha what thing will probably be replaced eventually. But if you're wondering who that is, uh, that is Anthony Perfetto, who is a uh, editor, a gaming <laughs> gaming editor. What? Known for ages. And he is the guy who interviewed me. So those of you who have seen the interview uh, with me, where he interviewed me about movie making and also a bit about the long dark. <laughs> what? That's that guy. He is in chat sometimes. He's uh, subscribed for a while. Uh, this place at Crumbling Highway, I, I really like this place because of the grass. You can find this grass other places too. But I just it's so dominant here, I really like it. Such a cool uh, grass. If you do come here on early game interloper, I do recommend going via ravine first. Because then you can get the flare gun. And you can... Um, oops. No, I just, just hop down. And you can uh, shoot away the wolves. I think of the followers, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think your stream has been great and you've been very helpful. Thank you. Oh, oops. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. I wish I streamed more often, but it's hard to find time between balancing because I spend my evenings, uh, uh, you know, because I sometimes I stream, but then I also uh, I hang out with my wife. Sometimes I play video games with my wife. Uh, sometimes I play casually for myself. Sometimes I edit and make videos for YouTube. Sometimes I play games with my uh, Norwegian idiot friends, the PUBG gang. Uh, so it it's difficult for me to stream. Um, I, I might try and do it like twice a month or something, but it, it's difficult. <coughs> We're still a few hours away. GGFL, I think. It's like also the interesting talks on gaming. Yes, I have a, a TED talk. Uh, you can find it if you type TEDx or something like that. I think we need this. Except for Sea of Thieves. Yeah, I read a lot of scientific papers, that's right. So in my job, about half of the time is spent teaching or doing teaching activities, and the other half is researching. And I research gaming psychology. Well, one of the things I do is that. And uh, I've been thinking of some long dark experiments to do. So one day I might post in my Discord or in uh, YouTube that I need people to do an experiment <laughs> with me. As long as you watch YouTube videos, I'll be happy. I try to have at least one video released every week. But it depends. Sometimes I have many, and then I release them more often. And sometimes I have few, and they are less frequent. It depends what it is. The edited videos with the tips, they take the longest to make. The walkthroughs take the medium amount. And then things like Nogoa take the least amount to make. Uh, but um, <clears throat> uh, the next video, which will be out probably tomorrow, I think will be the forest. So I did a playthrough of the forest. I had never played the forest before. I vaguely knew what it was. I had never tried it before. And I tried it for the first time. And I recorded myself doing it. It started bad but then ended alright. Even though I don't think I really know what I was doing half the time. But uh, it was different, that's for sure. Uh, let me see, I'm missing some chat here. How long do you think it will take? to do a thousand days in real time. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure I want to know. I started this run over two years ago. Two, two, uh, two years and three months, I think. Thank you for the link to YouTube video, David Bass. No worries. David Bass is very good. I met him a few times. If he saw me, he would probably recognize me, but he wouldn't necessarily know who I was. Uh, Oh boy, nothing more exciting than reading research paper with lots of spelling errors and horrible grammar mistakes. Not so much in research papers, but in students writing research papers, sure. I'll be a lab rat. Uh, just found that TED talk for later. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you can find it if you want to see it. It's here. If anyone don't, don't want it. Thanks for the welcome. Oh, hey, Pam Lanch. One of my patrons is here. <laughs> Thank you for dropping by. I read a paper once on the position of N. 
I don't know what any of that means. I fell asleep halfway. That sounds about right. <laughs> Sack in the forest. Yeah, I think have you uh, maybe you see see maybe you've seen it. So pat Patreons uh, get early access to videos, especially Fire Striker Patreons. Sometimes other Patreons get it too. Um, if you want to become a Patreon, I don't know if I have a shortcut for that. Do I? Let me see. Okay, I don't have it. <laughs> but if you do want to become a Patreon to support the uh, YouTube videos, you can just, there's a link in the actual video in the description. Uh, but anyway, uh, we are now approaching Desolation Point. We are almost at day 1000. We're about one or two hours away, I guess. Um, hi Zach, love you for further matching stream. Thank you August, you're just in time. We're almost at day 1000. <laughs> you got to late till October. Oh yeah, I heard about Sons of the Forest. All right, let me just uh, let's eat this first. Now what, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna head to the Riken. And then we're gonna prepare for day 1000, which is just an hour or two away. And I have a celebration lined up, but we need to do that celebration at night. And that means that we will do it on day 1000 and a half, or if the weather's really bad, we have to wait for day 1000 and something else. <coughs> uh, it's like a little fire thing. Let's get down here. There's usually some sneaky wolves here too. Can you get cabin feet but on a mine like coal mine? Yes, you can. You can. I think there's one we don't, but I think that's a bug. I'm really curious what you think about the AI of the mutants in the forest. They gave me the creep. They creep me out, but they weren't very clever. They were, once you had a base, they were really easy to keep away. But if you weren't in your base, oh man, they were a nightmare. Are they? <laughs> I if you've seen my uh, my green hell video, and I get scared to shit from the natives, the same thing happens in the forest. Yeah. I mean, uh, they give me so much anxiety. <laughs> yeah, they. I. I I actually preferred Green Hell to the forest, but I think it's also because I have played Green Hell more and I didn't really understand some of the mechanics in the forest. There were some things in the forest that you weren't allowed to do that I thought was really bizarre. And I thought like, either this is just how the game is or I'm doing it wrong, I'm not sure. Um, but it was a good game though. I'll, we'll see if people for the video is fun, then I'll play it again. If not, I don't know. Ooh. <sighs> I thought I heard Three something. Three cheers for the 1000 as I have to go to work. <laughs> Great job, Zach. <laughs> Thank you, Acidic Viper. Thank you so much. We are practically at day 1000. I think we're one hour away. Yeah, so you kind of made it. So thank you so much. Uh, God, if you're reading the mountain is hot, even though I thought you could. Yeah, you can. Uh, uh, th those things count, Urchin. There's a few places in the game that are outdoors, even though you are indoors, so, or whatever. So mountain is hot is one of them. You are still inside, up. even though there's no loading screen. So you still get cabin view. What was the funniest moment in this run for you? The funniest moment? Uh, probably the Matrix bear glitching out or the time the bear got stuck in the wall. That was really funny. The forest is a lot more action law based without the game being completely... Uh, completely becomes boring. Yeah, I see. Uh, boost train is close. Yeah, we are practically at day 1000 now. So, uh, Hyper train is ready, yeah. Uh, can I define a heart and stay warm outside? That's true. You can do that. Same with Milton Park office. That's also true. Uh, thank you for the bits, uh, lady. And thank you, 2114 Ben, for the follow. I forgot so to say that. Cold. How many near deaths have you had? A lot. Uh, I almost died three times. Really, really close calls 
on the first 500 days and on the next 500 days there's been at least mm, at least three times I almost died some of them are going to be in the video I'm going to show you very soon the other ones uh, I'll, I'll put it in a different video I'm going to make two videos one is a highlight video similar to the 500 days one and then another one will be a longer video telling the story of this whole thing Okay, so I think we'll do 1,000 days here on the Riken, and then we'll do a special celebration, which is over there. Uh, I didn't show it, but over over here I've put a little, uh, like a little fire show for day 1,000. But you have to do it at night, though. So we're going to do that later. Uh, thank you so much. Are you going to get a Steam Deck? Uh, I don't think so. Thank you, Stonkbot, for the 50 uh, bits. Thank you for that. A Steam that I don't think so. I, I did look into it once, but I, I didn't go for it. I remember the poor dead bear dying in the rock. I was watching it live and was ruffling. I remember the video with the first 500. Yeah, this is similar. Gosh, now they're getting a lot of bits now. Uh, sorry, Lady gave us 200 bits. Thank you so much. Summer gave 200 and Tina 300. Thank you so much. Did you guys coordinate that with like 200? <laughs> <coughs> We're still just off, I think. Yeah, just off, so uh, maybe like half an hour in-game, so you have time to show this, and then we'll go up and just wait it out. Thank you so much, lady, with another 50 bits. We got a boost train. Awesome. I'll quickly show you this, and then we'll go outside. I'm Shepherd, and this is my favorite store in the Citadel. Party one, 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 party one. I forgot that I had that sound bit. I think that's the only sound bit I have. Thank you. It's very still in the city. So in here I have uh, some bear hides. Gosh, I did not know I had this many bear pelts in here. That's handy for repairs. Uh, we've got a few of these. Uh, uh, any saplings? We got a bunch of water and tools and hammer. That's great. Let me check, you check how many matches we got. Three matches. Okay, so let's put that on here. Matches. We have three. Good. I think this is just stuff, yeah. Oh wow, it's a lot of scrap metal. Holy crap, I'm gonna run out of that anytime soon. Wow. Some of this needs to be taken back. Okay, let's go outside and just wait this out. Uh, sorry, let me catch up on this. So, uh, Silly Val, she had 100 bits, and Stone was 50, and Lady, a thousand. Holy crap, Lady. You going crazy with those uh, bits now. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I think you're probably getting on the lead about at this rate. <laughs> Thank you so much. And we got level 1 uh, completed. That's awesome. Almost level 2. Let's see. I think we are very close now. I'm just going to go outside. And if the weather's nice, which it looks like it is, we can make a fire and just wait it out here. Yeah, this is a... Might as well do it here. And I think we are just like a minute away or so. It's very, very close. So we actually just barely made it to Desolation Point, which is what I was going to do. Stunkbot is 50. Cool name of his Stunkbot. See how I used the mag lens well. there? I still haven't used an actual... Uh, I have so much coal, I forgot to dump it. Let me just like, dump that quickly. Uh, I'm not going to carry all of this with me. <laughs> I want to donate some bits as well, so I only have zero points in my account. Then definitely don't donate. Uh, please do not donate any bits or subscription or, so, or any. Bids. Congrats on one thousand, less than three. <laughs> Thank you. I really, uh, really appreciate the bits and subs. It helps the channel and development and everything. But please do not do give anything if you don't have the money. So please, your presence and your kind words and support is more than enough. So don't feel obligated for anything. Uh, I would say no, Perseverance Mills will probably be a region, yeah, I think so. But close to where I wear these. <coughs> it's a fourth account, exactly. The, my mods have the right idea. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. I think there were some more bits that I missed. Uh, squeaky Rabbit with 500 bits. By the way, I'm sorry I don't have a special bits like animation because I have special animations for followers and subscribers and things I don't have one for bits so you just get that you know the the whatever box so I'm sorry I don't have anything more special for that 
yeah, let's see. So we are, I think we are just about, are we on day 1000? Let's have a look. No, just off. It should be now any moment though. Should be just around noon. So yeah, boom, wow, holy, oh, uh, really dead <laughs> meat, gave 15 bits. And for her follow, thank you. And Denise seems to have 500 guys. You guys are going crazy with it. I don't think I've ever had this much before. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> and then a uh, lady with five community subs. That's insane. Thank you so much. And all those. Uh, I don't think I've ever had as many subscribers either. It's insane. Thank you so much. <laughs> and 10 more bits what? from Pam Land. She already do more than enough Pam, with the uh, Patreon that you are. But thank you so much. Gosh, we're level four now. That's insane. It's boost jumping. <laughs> what? Yeah, you get to hear Tony say what a lot. <clears throat> Just gonna wait this out. Uh, I wish I had a flare gun. But I have this other thing I'm going to show you, <laughs> but you have to do it at night. It doesn't work now. Let's harvest this. 141 views, level four boost, and great day. 1,000 days. Uh, this stream is in Spain and starts streaming the long dark as well. Maybe I'll get some views in a couple months. Yeah, Urchin, if you start streaming the long dark, uh, let that be known to people. Go go in my Discord or other streamers' Discord and let them know. And let me know. But then we can shout you out and then you can get views. It, it usually doesn't take very long for someone who starts streaming the long dark to become affiliate because we, we <laughs> shout each other out. So don't be shy to say that you start streaming. Yeah, okay. <coughs> uh, yeah, go on Discord to, to, to say it there, for example. Uh, 2514, Ben, thank you for the 100 bits. And Wayne with a subscription. Gosh, this is going crazy. Let's see. It's. I think it might be now. Is it now? Let's see. No? Gosh. It should be very close now. I always thought it was noon, but I think it's just just past noon. Oh, I have an idea. <coughs> Let's go up here instead. This is a bad torch. Let's get a better torch. Ah, that's good enough. <coughs> I've never been up here. Now, I imagine that's like a death fall up here. You can't go up here for some reason. And you just die. I don't think I ever <laughs> set foot up here before. I'm safer from the bear this way. Hey, cool. So down there, under the lighthouse, I made a little fire uh, that spells out 1000. That is the celebration. But we have to do it at night, otherwise we can't really appreciate it. Is it there? Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. It almost looks like the boat's on fire. No bear or anything. That's good. All right. <coughs> uh... Sorry, also, uh, Pam gave out a community sub. Thank you so much. Death Falls that kills you one minute in the end. That would be crazy. This is quite a cool angle of the Riken, yeah. Surely now must be a thousand. Come on. Yeah, we got it. There we go. <laughs> one thousand days uh, just now. Let's also update this right away so we don't forget. One thousand. There we go. <coughs> one thousand days. Woo! That's awesome. I was worried I would die a few times on this uh, run, but we got it. 1,000 uh, in front of the burning Riken. It almost looks like it's on fire. <laughs> Gosh. Cheer, cheer, one, 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 46 height blades, 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 46 height one. As a wolf. Yeah, sorry, I'm missing all the chat uh, now because there's too much of it, so I'm sorry about that. But thank you for the bits. Uh, Summer, 100 bits. Tina, 110 bits. Lady, 50. Stonk, 100. Mace, Pamline, 10. Lady with another 1,000 bits is crazy. Tina gave a community sub. Then needs another 500 to 25, another 200. Gosh, it's hard to even keep track. It's crazy, you guys are absolutely insane. Thank you so much for that. Can this wolf get up here? Let's find out. I 
Let me get back up. Can he actually get up there? It'd be the weirdest wolf kill ever if that's the case. Oh wow. Oh, this is one wolf kill I never thought I'd do. <laughs> what? Sorry, wolf. <laughs> he actually could come up here. That's crazy. <laughs> Thank you so much for this. I uh, wolf wanted to party. Yeah, uh, no, he just wanted to party. Congratulations on your 1,000 days. Uh, thank you so much. I thank you for another 500 bits. You get an absolutely insane amount of stuff. I'm so uh, grateful. I can't. Uh, I can't really appreciate and say thank you to all of you because it's just happening so fast. But I will look at it afterwards and uh, to everyone. And thank you so much for all the bits and for the support and for all, everything. Really, you guys are absolutely crazy. <coughs> And iTech, thank you for the follow. 100%, we reached, uh, is that like the highest or whatever? With 100 bits more from day, you're given tons later, it's insane. What does that mean? Level 5, 2,000 recommendations. So does that mean like on Twitch it goes to 2,000 people or I don't know what that means. Oh, the weather changed. Where's the crows? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why the wolf. I think it's because I have a, uh, I have this on me. I think that's why. Hey, yeah, thank you so much. Whew. Uh, thank you for the follow, Lars. Final level, keep going. Final level. I don't think so. I think it's the max, isn't it? Yeah, it is the max. Okay, <clears throat> let's have a little look at the stats while we're standing here. So I've now started a thousand days. And by the way, I'm sorry if there were any questions or anything in the chat now. I just can't see it. It, it happened. It was too much stuff. But thank you so much for the bits and and the uh, and uh, the, the gifted subs and everything. I really appreciate it. And it does help the development of the channel and help me as a person and stuff too. And I, I really appreciate all the support. It's really kind of all of you. Uh, <laughs> thank you, silly, <laughs> for traveling. Let's have a look at the stats. I haven't actually looked at the stats uh, in a long time. So I had a thousand days. Technically, it's not 100% explored <laughs> because I haven't what? been in Blackrock yet. I have apparently eaten three and a half million calories. So that was fun. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Sand Clocks TV, for the Prime subscription. Thank you. Uh, distance, wow. So that's actually not that far. That's like, yeah, anyway. Um, then we have the days. As you can see, I like being in Mystery Lake, but that's because my base is there. <coughs> and then we have uh, this. I have spent the most in Timberwolf Mountain after. I just like the mountainous hut. It's really cool. Yeah, thank you, Sad. It's no worries. Yeah, uh, 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 the Twitch Prime subscription is great because it's free, but they don't tell you when you have it available. So I don't know always when I'm going to use mine. Let's head back so we don't get cold. Wolf can stay up there. Let's just head back to this. Imagine dying from that wolf. That would have been insane. <clears throat> uh, and I'll we'll do the celebration also. Um, we'll just need to wait until it's dark. And then we can go up there. And we can uh, see if we can do the celebration. Because I prepared a little thingy. And then I'll show a video. I'll show you, the, you all the video uh, that is coming out soon. That is the... 1000 days video. Let me just have a little look at it. I haven't really looked at this properly. Bow shot. <laughs> Bow shot's taken 1200. Holy crap. <coughs> Thanks, Smash. Thank you. 800. So that means my accuracy is like. Wow. 60 something percent. 62 percent. Or something like that. It's because I shoot from a distance a lot. Yay. I've trained level 5 or. or boost train whatever it's called nowadays but that was really cool thank you so much for that i never had one that big before gosh that's a lot of subs but thank you so much that's insane the wolf on the rock was shot 1220 uh, 200 you're right that's that's exactly right um i hit two times with my <laughs> distressed pistol i was a bit of a noob there by the way you can actually see i have the stream for when this happened 
I last I used the last uh, flare uh, on day 120 or something, and that was the second day of streaming. Was the first day of streaming. On my first day of streaming, I had one viewer, and that viewer was Kimiota. So I had two two viewers, me and Kimiota. <laughs> going to sleep. Like, Congrats on Fowler. Thank you so much. So have a good night. Yeah, you don't make it to thousand days there. That's true. Wool struggles. Six. So I've gone through 66 wool struggles. It's bad. Um, 11 maulings and 5 stops. Oh, I killed 68 bears. Would have thought it was more. 500 wolves killed. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> yeah, no pressure, exactly. Okay, what we're going to do now, I'm going to show you the video um, I'm releasing when it's. I just need a few things fixed. But before that, I'm going to see if I can get this celebration thing. Uh. I don't think there's any point keeping this fire. Actually, there is, uh, assuming it doesn't burn out. <clears throat> so let's see here. Let's pass time till it gets dark. And then I'm going to light this thing and we can celebrate it again. Or like with the, with the sign anyway. Whatever we need is a clear night or a clearish night. How long has this got? Uh, this looks clear-ish. Let's wait a bit longer. The sun setting. Uh, it's gonna get a lot could, colder could soon. Could be better. This. That, oh, I think we might. If the fog could lift, it would be good. <coughs> but it looks like we got pretty heavy fog here. Uh, I don't know if that always moved. Actually, I never thought of that. Oh, I think it's clearing up. No, it's not. Oh gosh, now it starts snowing again. I'm not sure we'll have a clear night tonight. If that is the case, I might show it to you and we'll do the... Uh, it's gonna blow out, isn't it? No. I have so much coal, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's too... it's not a clear night, this issue. Uh, I have lost my welfare twice, both on purpose, so I don't really know exactly how long I've had this. <coughs> Alright, let's see if we can get this. Now just wait for the next day. I think we won't get it, okay. Then we'll just go and uh, and sleep then. Wait for the next night. There we go. That was the video for that. Let me put this back on. I've been trying to get a clear night while you guys were watching that, which didn't really work. <laughs> hey, thank you. It's uh, mostly like I seem to change the ending because of the stuff. Yeah, thank you. I'm glad you liked the video. It's, uh, it will be out uh, yeah, a week or two or something like that. Hey, <laughs> thank you. It was uh, fun putting together. I like how the lyrics was quite fitting. <laughs> uh, seems to be quite bad weather here now, in uh, Desolation Point, but... Road to 2000, yeah, exactly. Next file, so we'll probably be 2000. But I'll probably do a bit more risky things now, though. So now I'm just waiting for a clear night, which I haven't got yet. But other than that, we are pretty much done. I don't think we'll go to Timwolf Mountain, that's too tomorrow. <coughs> yeah, I'm glad you liked uh, the video. It's uh, the music, it's by Filter. It's the same guy who has the music for the background of my tips videos who has given me permission to use his music and uh, yeah there's a lot of stuff happens in the last 500 days and uh, more than what's shown there in that video but that was probably the majority of the highlights some really close calls like when they patched out the invisible wolf barrier and then I got completely mauled by that <laughs> get to see now what it looks like yeah 102 need Water. Oh okay, it's foggy, but it's clear. Might be good enough. I would really like a starry night or something like that. 
Oh no, we're gonna get snow instead. <laughs> Can't feel my hands. I need to wait at least two hours then I guess. Yeah, <laughs> this video I started making when I was around when I got to about day 850 or something like that, I started making that video because I figured like now we reached a point where either I will make it to 1000 or I will die getting there and then it can be a video about that. <clears throat> and then it was just about putting together the rest of it. I don't think we'll have a clear night here either. It's just... Uh... Yeah, no, he's, he moans a lot. He just, when it's broken ribs, it's the worst. Alright, it looks like we're gonna probably get cabin fever soon, but that's okay. We'll give it one more night, and if not, I think we'll just do the best we can. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad you liked the video. We'll be out, uh, be out soon. Oh gosh, it's really bad uh, weather here in Desolation Point, so we're not really getting any, <laughs> any weather we want. Yeah, finally it's like the clear night, exactly. I don't know if I'll make another one of these. I guess the next milestone will be 2,000 days. I don't think I'll make one for like 1,500. I don't really see the point of that at this stage. But we'll see. But it's really great being here with all of you at this uh, milestone that has taken over two years to get to. It took a really, really long time to get there. So let's see. Let's see if we can get this clear night. It's not really a big deal if it doesn't work out. It's just kind of like a fun thing to do. But let's see if we can get a decent night. Yeah, this should be good. Oh, okay. Buggy. Just because it looks nicer at night than it does in like, well, anything else really. Let's see what we can do. I can't believe. I still can't believe that wolf climbed up to that rock. <laughs> Thank you, freaking me. Yeah, it hasn't ended just yet. I think now we're going to take away the day counter. We don't need that anymore. Okay, it's getting dark. As you can see, all of my regional bases have so much food and water that it's not something I really need to concern myself about. I am going to get cabin fever soon, though. Uh, this is okay, but not great. But I'm not cold, so we can see. No, I'm getting go. This is okay, but not amazing. Let's give it another hour. Never felt so cold in my life. I'm tempted to do, but it's it's still not a very nice night. I don't think. And now it's foggy as well. <laughs> it just doesn't. It's, it it won't give me a clear night. So, oh well, a clear night or aurora would be good. You know, that would be very nice. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Urchin. Yeah, but uh, don't uh, stay up longer if you need to go. Okay, we have a blizzard. That's definitely not gonna work. Cold is making my head feel thick. Let's just wait out this blizzard. Can't seem to get any nice... Oh, it died. Let's see what it looks like now. Oh, now it's heavy snow instead. <coughs> yeah, blizzard usually, usually clears up after the... Uh, after a blizzard. Not this time, though. This is really annoying, isn't it? <laughs> My fingers feel numb. This is like Pleasant Valley level of bad weather. Oh. Yeah, I just won't. They, they never care about that yet. Oh, there we go. It's near the end of the night, but that's okay. Grab some of these, in case. We're gonna have to use one of our precious matches now. Hooray. I'm gonna have to use a match, but that's okay. So I made a really shitty sign down here. It's not very good, but it is a sign nonetheless <coughs> that we can use to do a little celebration of sorts. This is a little gimmicky thing. How many matches are left in the world? Uh, I have. I counted earlier. 
Uh, I forgot to log how many I have in Broken Railroad, but I had, I think it was 127 matches left. And two fire strikers and two maglets. And I have to use a match now. So here's the sign. You kind of saw a kind of a preview thing of this in the video. Crack open a summer. Yeah, I don't have anything special. Birch tea, I guess. So here we are. Uh, we're going to grab all of this. And light these things. I hope they haven't moved. Because they might have. I don't think they have. This was actually surprisingly hard to do. Because really hard to get them in line, but we'll give it a try. So it's going to take a moment now. <clears throat> get all this lit, and then hopefully they won't blow out. Because if they do, we're back to square one. I need to drop. Gonna, this is going to take a few minutes. <coughs> Even with level five fire starting, it will take a few minutes. Use everything we can here. Turned out pretty well. Yeah, it did. Yeah, so this is gonna be nah <laughs> I would need a lot of accelerant oh, for that to be worth it. <laughs> This was actually Kimiota's idea, just for the record. Uh, well, it wasn't for this, but... Oops, that's not the... That's, ignore that message, but... Um, when I was approaching day 500, Kimiota said I should write 500 on the ice in Bleak Inlet, he said. Uh, and I said, uh, oh yeah, I could do that. I ended up doing something else, which I preferred, which was the can. <coughs> But um, I thought that would be a good idea for... Oh, well, I failed. That's the first time in ages. I thought that would be a good idea for this. So, uh, by desolation point rather than Bleak Inlet. I don't like Bleak Inlet. It's my least favorite region. It's not a bad region or anything. It's a great region. It's just not a big fan of it. Get <laughs> banned through the ice. Imagine if that was a thing. Are you, are you retiring this run out this, this stream? No. Now I'm going to continue this until I either stop playing or the character dies. Uh, some people suicide their characters when they reach day 500. They jump off a cliff or something. Come on. But I plan to keep this going. I won't play on it very often. I'll play on it off stream, on stream, here and there, you know, we'll see, but yeah. <laughs> I like this game. I think it's also still in development, but even when it's done, it's going to go. I don't think this game is going to stop being Can't feel my feet. entertaining for at least five years. Thank you for well, thank you, congratulations on milestone sack. Thank you for taking a game I love and help me love it ten times more. <laughs> hey, no problem. Thank you so much for your kind words. Someone rated it was once and only rated with fifty eight winter survivors. Hello, once and the gang. We're about to celebrate one thousand, so good good timing. Uh, we need to boost this stuff. Just give me a minute there, we're just uh, wrapping up this. Let's try not to get burnt. I would, I would How are you doing once? Cool. So we just reached uh, 1000. And we're just setting up the celebration. Thank you for all the follows, but I I'm just a bit focused doing this. Let me grab a few torches from this one. Oh wow, that was a bad torch, but torch is a torch. Hmm. 
Thank you so much uh, once and everyone who came here. Yeah, the burn risk is pretty high right here. Thank you so much once, yeah. It's uh, amazing to have made it this far. So here we go. Here's, oh god, that's uh, bright, isn't it? It will look weird from here, but once we go around, it will look much, much better. Thank you so much for the raid once. Let's drink one of these teas. Alright, let's go. We're gonna go on top of the lighthouse and then look down on it. That's the way we should celebrate this. I don't think we need to worry about the wolf since he tried to ambush me earlier. But once, literally, as I reached 1000 days, I stood on top of a big cliff and a wolf came out of who knows where and charged all the way up at the rock, pretty much exactly when I reached 1,000 days, but I killed it. And then another one ambushed me here, but I killed that too. <coughs> so we'll see here. Let's pray for no wind, yeah, that's what I was thinking. But since it's changed not long ago, I don't think it's going to burn out that quickly. Dawn is coming though. So let's hope this works. It was set up about 30 or 40 days ago. I tested it first. Let's hope for no crows. <laughs> Alright, so here we are. Let's see what this looks like from above. Because I, when I tested it, I didn't actually test it at night. I just planted the fires. I didn't actually see what it would look like. So for all I know, this could look really ba bad. Let's see. Okay. So here we are. 1,000 days into uh, this run. That actually worked a lot better than I thought it would. <laughs> Because I didn't try it at night, so I didn't know what it would look like. That's pretty cool. Can't feel my hands. Can't feel my hands. Well, we'll celebrate with a warm birch bark tea, Will. Isn't that nice? Thank you so much for the bits, uh, Stonkbot. You found this awful global for me. <laughs> Yeah, I only test this during the day to see if I could... It actually was really hard to place these fires correctly. I had to go up and down several times to try and get it right, because this didn't look right. It was much harder than it looked, and then on the ground it looks really bizarre. But from... and I only went... I only went to check what it would look like from... Uh, during the day. I had never seen it at night, but this is why I wanted a clear night. It uh, worked really well. <laughs> thank you so much for that. Uh, thank you for the bits, uh, would, DH done, and the follow, uh, Solar Bar. And a lot of people have followed just now after Ron's waiters. I'm sorry I haven't said uh, thanks. But thank you, everyone, for following. Let's do the, uh, <coughs> let's do the, uh, the movie clip throw, which is this. Ah, uh, that's cool. <coughs> oh wait, if I if I cold. look closer, I think it actually reads. Hold on, let me look close. It reads, "Once is sus." Oh yeah, that's what it says. <laughs> <laughs> With the wind, it looks like a talic. Yeah, it did kind of look like a talic. Let's <laughs> fire out this bad boy during a roar. That would be cool. We can come back for this. Well, you know what we got to do now, though. We got to do ten thousand days. Uh, and then come back here and put another zero after it. That's uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's been insane by this point, exactly. <laughs> and this is really cool. I like this. It's worked out a lot better than I thought it would. I don't think it would look I this would, nice. I would say no, it's very cool. <clears throat> this is definitely a, a loading screen as well. Just, let's just hang out here for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you for the raid one. I hope your stream went well. Uh, you just missed us actually crossing into day 1000, but it doesn't really make a difference because the celebration was meant to be this. And um, yeah, uh, I'm glad this worked out. I barely made it there in time. 
And now I have hypothermia risk. Freezing. This, we're always complaining. Yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna call it now any minute. Uh, thank you for the raid, nevertheless, once I will... Uh, I guess I'll head into the lighthouse. <laughs> oh, seems like dawn is coming anyway. So let's get Will inside before he starts complaining again. There we are. We had to wait five... Yeah. It, <laughs> I'm actually on day 1003 now. Because I had to wait three days to get the right weather. It was uh, just uh, crazy bad. And in here I don't think there's anything of note. Um, some water, I guess, that's it. Oh, actually, before we go, let's just check quickly what it looks like upstairs uh, from up here. Does that make a difference? I haven't. I didn't think of that. Let's just have a quick, quick look. Uh, it's kind of blocked by the. How do you get this though? <laughs> Thank you for your friendship and your videos. No problem, Mike. Thank you for your friendship, and I hope everything goes well with you. And uh, thank you for your streams. They're really awesome. Oh, yeah, Ark, you said, look, I uh, didn't even see it. Uh, thank you, everyone, for the congratulations. Thank you, everyone, for all your support with, well, the stream, but also on YouTube and everything. It's been really amazing, and the growth on my channel the last six plus months have been amazing it's really fun to do this with you uh, i like making the videos and everything and this is a special moment i was a bit scared i was gonna die there was a moment i didn't show i almost died on day 980 because i fell through the ice and then i got attacked by a wolf i didn't see <laughs> um but this has been really fun uh Really enjoyable, and thank you all for tuning in for this. This has been a milestone that took so cold. almost two and a half years. Just I don't know exactly when I started, but I know that the first footage I have of this, the first highlight I have, which is of day 10, is in January. So I assume it was in January it started. So that's two years and a bit. That's how long this took. Uh, of course, if I had played every day or streamed every day, of course, it would take much, much less. I only play on this run a few times a month, maybe, if that. And it's usually little bits at a time. But yeah, uh, we made it here, and it's been great. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much. I think I will just call it here and end the stream. I think we should raid someone, though. I think we should send, send you all somewhere else. Uh, thank you again uh, once for the... Great, and thank you, Mice, for another 10 bits. Thank you so much. Today I've gotten back from our district to Blackrock to Mr. Lake on the interlock. Oh, that sounds tough, but uh, good job, though. Let me see who is on, um, who we can raid. So let's see here. Uh, we can raid. If possible, it would be cool to raid someone small. <coughs> So we got Thomasina on. Oh, Celestial Snooze is on. We could maybe raid her. She's great. She's fun. Um, and so is Sword and Leaf is on. He's very good. Uh, well, there's a lot of people on, actually. Um, call me Weevil is on. I think we'll raid Celestial. Uh... She's uh, she's very nice. I think she's playing. Oh, she's playing custom loper. Well, that's okay. As if she needed my permission. <laughs> I think we'll go over to her um, and we'll call it there. So yeah, let's do that. So um, yeah, let's see if I missed it. I got a bear glitch in the fence. Oops. You can throw a torch at the carcass. You can unlock it from that state. Oh yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I see. Okay, so let's put raid celestial snooze. I hope I wrote. Yeah, I did. Okay. <clears throat> so again, thank you, everyone. It was really, really fun. I enjoyed the stream very much, and I really appreciate all your support, uh, both here and outside the stream. Uh, thank you so much. It was uh, it was really, really fun. So I think we'll go over to Celestial Snooze and hopefully have a good run there. She seems to be doing fast, uh, custom loper. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what that means, but we'll find out. <laughs> uh, 
And uh, thank you, everyone. And stay awesome. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>